in the day. <laughs> there we go. The broadcast is live. I so, rub my nipples. <laughs> wow. And that's the way you started. Live. Yeah, that is exactly how we start up a fucking This live show. stream is brought to you by Ace's favorite gum, Wrigley's Ice Cubes, Ice Breakers. You, you'll you love them because they're... they're they're nice and good for you. And I had no idea that icebreakers were even made by Wrigley's, damn it. <laughs> you, wow, dude, you seriously are just a cheap whore now, you know, now, aren't you? Uh, I love icebreakers gum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have no I words. I don't only endorse the product. I use it. <laughs> which is Ace's favorite kind of mint. I am totally speechless, and we've just started. Uh, and later on, we'll, we'll, you know, the later part of our show will be brought to you by Choco Billy's Cookies. Oh wait, yes, I can actually open that up in a another tab. I'll have access to all the comments right there. Choco Billy's Cookies make Asa a very fat Asa, fat oh. and gay and fat. And we and we have a comment which uh, is asking if I knew that Godzilla versus if if I knew that Godzilla versus Biolanti was out on Blu-ray. Um, yes, I know because it's sitting on my Blu-ray shelf between Ghost Rider, The Spirit of Vengeance, and Grave of the Fireflies. I fucking adore all three of them. Well, I can't really say that I adore Go Ghost Rider too, but. I enjoy all three of those. Brave of the Fireflies, otherwise known as Fuck America. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> the message isn't, isn't that. The message is just that war, is just that war sucks. Uh, you you got to admit, that movie would have been totally ruined as, if at the very end the kid's like dying in the subway there and, and his last words are, Fuck America. Ah. And yeah, that, yeah, like that honestly would have would have fucking killed. Would have fucking there. killed the movie, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh hell yeah! Think that of movie, any movie though. that 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 you know, all it takes is one phrase to fucking kill it. That would be the movie for me. <laughs> you had me at hello. No, get down on all fours, bitch! Right after. The <laughs> <laughs> wow, you had me at hello. Do you do doggy style? There you go. That would have ruined that movie. Well, then again, that movie kind of sucked in the first place. But yeah, right. let's just... As opposed to Salo, where nothing you say could possibly make that movie any worse. I swear, dude, you you, you seriously should make a video like talking about that and then just watch about all Solo? the people. Yes, and then just watch all the people spaz on you. Oh my god, that movie's a, that, that movie's a work of art. Film. film is supposed to be edgy and show throw fit shit in your face. It has... That movie is just so rife with symbolism and depth. You just don't understand the symbolism. Hey, Salieri, thoughts on Final Fantasy IV? I love Final Fantasy IV. I guess so, I can answer on that one, too. I've never played Final Fantasy IV. And those are my thoughts on Final Fantasy IV. I love them. Here we go. Someone's but asking not if... half as much as I love Wrigley's Ice Cubes. Oh boy! So someone's asking if I'm going to review ABCs of Death, and uh, I would like to say that after getting a mountain of mountain of requests in the last week for it, I have put it on the Amazon wish list along with a bunch of other movies that have been heavily, heavily requested. So you guys can go over there if somebody really wants me to do something like say Dread or Cabin in the Woods or the ABCs of Death, or Django Unchained, or a handful of other ones I put on there, by all means, go over there, buy them, and then, just sh and then just send me a PM telling me that you bought them, and then I can do the whole shout-out thing. That's, that really is about the only answer I have for me reviewing ABCs of Death, is that one of you could very easily make it happen. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> What did you guys think of the shit fest that was WrestleMania 29? I didn't see it. Neither did I. So. Quite, all I did was read the results, and the results, pretty much reading the results, I was like, yep, yeah, I predicted that, I predicted that, I predicted that. And it sucked. <laughs> and uh, I'm the only one that thinks that was one of the worst WrestleManias ever. I haven't even watched it, and I think it was one of the worst ever. 
Well, see, and I haven't watched the the WWE seriously in a couple of years, so. Yeah. But since but since we're talking about the WWE, uh, I should ask Eric: Are you familiar with a wrestler? His name is Fandango. Mm, no, is that a new guy? Uh, yes, 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 he is. He has this really shitty entrance, fucking like entrance theme, which uh, apparently became like massively popular when he finally started wrestling. Hmm. Where that night, which was like the first night after WrestleMania, during his during his match, when his music died, the audience was still humming his theme. And it has since become one of the like highest selling singles in the history of in the history of iTunes. In fact, allow me to find it for you. Because you have because you really need to understand how absolutely shit this theme is. Okay. Fandango theme. Can't be that go. bad if people are humming along to it. Dude, there are people out there who will hum along to call me to fucking call me maybe. Okay? Good point. Oh, Gangnam Style. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, dude, first of all, um, he actually has a new song out. It's called, like, Gentleman. Who, Sai? Yeah, Sai. Yeah, he has this new commercial on YouTube where he's asking people that he needs a new chef and he's willing to give him 40000 bucks. and I think you have to make, like, a video showing how good of a chef you all are. All right, dude, there it is. I just went and I put it in our little stream chat. Go ahead and watch... And listen to Fandango's new theme. Fandango's theme song. Fandango. You have now. Now you have to say it correctly. Fandango. Otherwise, he refuses to wrestle. It's no, grim. I thought it was Grim Fandango. But... No, 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 no. It's just Fandango. So, dude, your thoughts? They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the Morocco Beats. Nice. They call me. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on Fandango's theme? Uh, that he does not look Mexican. What? What is he trying to be? The next Scott Hall or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> trying to be the next Razor Ramon is that was that what I'm seeing here? I don't know. I really don't. I, he, looks I, like a, he looks like a white boy, like a completely white bread white boy from Arkansas, trying to do like a Mexican thing. Actually, I, actually, I believe he's supposed to be from like. Wait, let me go and look up what the fuck his gimmick is even so, so supposed to be, because I think he's supposed to be from like Brazil. <laughs> Or Chile? He's supposed to be from one of the like Latin American, like South American nations. Does he have like one of those? You know, you know I, I have the accent. That that is, is it one of those things. A little bit, yes, yes. He actually does have a little bit of an accent to him. So he just happens to be white. <laughs> yes, he just kind of like I happen to be white, but I'm also a speak. <laughs> <laughs> dirty oh my speak. god! You a dirty speak? Okay. Oh, I'm going to look up. Uh, I'm going to look up what his. So when was this Joker fucking uh, introduced to the show? Uh, he actually started showing up on WWE TV. I think like a couple of fucking like months back, and his gimmick was that he. Oh wait. Uh, okay, so apparently his gimmick is that he is. Wait, is he really billed from being from? Parts from from fucking part from parts unknown. Are you fucking serious? That's hilarious. Wait a moment. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 Fandango. Yeah, I'm not finding much here. Oh, anyway. Or right, no, no, he's apparently from Maine. They're billing him from Maine, but he's got this whole like Latin fucking you know like Lothario <laughs> thing going. He's over. from Maine. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he has that theme, and he's from Maine. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that that makes absolutely no sense. But then again, 
We already knew that WWE never fucking tries. Yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, um... That right there is like one of the big, big like bits, like like bits of news. Kind of is that he is apparently the <clears throat> is uh, well apparently his ba- his 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 big thing is that on the Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania he had a match, and the audience who apparently were mostly you know like who were mostly like British for whatever baffling reason, even though it was in the U.S. I'm not going to ask why, um, and. When his theme ended, almost all of them were humming along with it for most of his match. So This was in my mouth. This used to be an Ice Cube. Icebreakers by Wrigley. Ace has just taken one out of his mouth. Thinking of popping another one in, actually. Okay, yeah. Wow, so you go ahead and you just enjoy popping... See, there. It, it's like a little ice cube with, with little spearmint things on it. Little blue spearmint specks? Well, green spearmint specks, but, you know. Oh, I, oh, really? I always thought that spearmint was supposed to be, like, bluish. Oh, the blue one is the winter green one. Or... There we go. Yeah, that's it. So, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. So, something which is called winter, you know, green is blue. <laughs> is blue, and something that's called spearmint is green. Yeah, mint normally you associate with green as blue. Okay, yeah. I'm not gonna. You know what's what's funny about you know these uh, spearmint gum is uh, spearmint in Spanish is called good weed, believe it or not, yerba buena. <laughs> the mint is called good weed in Spanish. Educational, awesome. <laughs> so if you're looking for good weed in in any South American country, they'll hand you freaking spearmint gum. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> All of a sudden now, I I am kind of hoping that once that once that once you know the U.S. like wises up and we actually legalize pot, I'm kind of hoping that we can get like we can actually get like pot like gum because I have never really smoked smoked weed, but I really think I could probably get into it if it was in like a chewable gum gum style as opposed oh, to. Man. Yeah. Gum, gum weed would be badass. <laughs> I'd be chewing on that shit all day. <laughs> whoa, this is good gum. Whoa, whoa, dude. This gum here is like giving me the munchies, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's gum that makes you want to eat more gum. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, oh, someone's asking Eric, uh, who is your favorite character in Final Fantasy IV? Uh, let me refresh the comments. Yeah, uh, someone wants to know your favorite FF4 character. Huh. Where'd they write that? Oh, it is way oh, down there. Way it's down there. Yeah. Who's your favorite characters? Oh, I could have sworn it was just character. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, it is plural characters. Okay, who's your favorite characters? Well, I guess my favorite characters, if I have to place them in a nice top ten list, are Tella, Tella, and Tella. He's the best character in that fucking game. He's so awesome. So, I'm trying to think now about like about you know, like what else to talk about here as I'm like looking at the. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Um, well, how about we talk about Wrigley's Ice Cubes? They're the best gum that I've tasted in years. You guys should buy Wrigley's Ice Cubes. They're awesome. I have not been able to stop eating this fucking gum for like the last couple of days. This gum is probably what's what's keeping me from making videos right now. <sighs> Oh, AVGN probably would. <laughs> you want to cash in a little bit more there, buddy? Right. And first of all, I I I actually have tried a gum that's just fan, that's just fucking amazing, and I really should go out and buy another like pack of it. It's uh, fuck, was it? Oh god, what the hell? What the hell company was it? I think it was. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot think of the brand name. But what they do is they are one of those. They are one of those like sugar-free gums, mm-hmm. except they've been putting them out now, so that way they're flavored to 
taste like to taste like desserts. And a lot of people talk about the one that tastes like key lime pie. I haven't had that one yet, but the one I have had tastes like apple pie. I have a story about those. that. And, and I'm never going to touch those because, I mean, they're, they're yuck. <laughs> oh, dude. Really? They're, they're All right, good? Man. All right, dude. Allow me not to tell you because they're I was... They're actually good. They're actually right. good. Story time. I, because I, because I was at work and one of my coworkers, they had a pack of, 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 of this gum and they were like offering everybody a piece. I said, what is it? Mm-hmm. She said, oh, no, 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 don't worry. It tastes, it tastes exactly like an apple pie. Yeah. And I'm like, that's exactly what I'm worried about. And gum I, that tastes like apple pie. <laughs> and I sat there and said, there is no way in hell a piece of gum can taste like a fucking apple pie. That is a physical impossibility. And you were she said, right. she said, just, just try it. I popped it in my mouth, I started chewing out, and I said, holy fuck, this tastes exactly like a goddamn apple pie. (laughs) And so I chewed on it for the rest of the fucking night, and uh, I then have since bought like two or three packs of it over maybe the past like six months, months or so. I usually have like a whole, I mean, I I, I usually am able to whittle, like whittle through an entire pack in maybe like a day or two. Because because every piece lasts you maybe like two hours in terms of flavor, so yeah, I've been chewing on that piece for for like an hour and a half, like like fucking uh, cow chewing cud. But um, well, you know that there's always an interesting way of explaining how you chew on gum. <laughs> <laughs> and in honor of 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 uh, you know the irate gamer sucks blog who keeps saying how two faced I am. I've already switched brands, and now I do Stride Gum. So my new brand that I will be endorsing right now is Stride Gum. But Stride tastes like shit. Stride Spearmint Gum. I have two pieces left. (laughs) Well, there's an interesting way of summing it up there, dude. Right? I eat Stride, and I eat Ice Cube. See, part of the reason I've been chewing a lot of gum lately is because of my whole weight loss thing, man. They're... They're a way for me to not eat. Well, yeah, I mean that right there's like the best way to lose, you know, weight is just start fucking like mowing on gum instead of you know munching on chips and shit, and you're totally good to go. And that's been working, dude. I mean, you know, I started at 310 pounds, and I'm at 290 right now. So now I have to ask, dude, because um, mm-hmm. now do you happen to remember our last stream? It was that fucking like Kickstarter nightmares live. Yeah, yeah. Did we happen to talk about the creativity cards during that stream? Somebody had like a Kickstarter for those stupid creativity cards. I don't remember if we did or not, but if we did, those we were we seriously, seriously must have because somebody here because somebody here mentioned them in in the fucking comments. Oh, I need you guys some need creativity some cards. creativity cards. I need some creativity cards. Well, thanks. Holy shit! Any <laughs> thoughts on Spike Lee's remake of Old Boy? It's Spike Lee. Fuck him. <laughs> up, 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 up. First of all, Spike Lee has made one good movie in his entire career, and that one movie was Bamboozled. Okay, I'll give him that. I will. I I will say that I am not a fan of any other Spike like Spike Lee film, but I did enjoy that one. <laughs> but um, first of all, old. First of all, I'd like to say that Old Boy is an okay movie. The movie is ridiculously overrated. I mean, it's not. It is not nearly as good as most people are are going are going to tell you. But it is still. But it is still okay. And it really isn't something though that I would want to see more than two, two or three times. The fact that Spike Lee is remaking it. First of all, it fails on a on a whole host of levels. Number one, it fails because it's a fucking remake, and to hell with every fucking remake I've ever made. Number two, I don't Spike imagine, Lee. I do not imagine that Spike Lee will be able to take that story and do anything de- de- so, like decent with it. So we have Three, a one, and we have a two. And as for the third point, <laughs> yes, that's a good way of summing it up. You can put your third point over there. When yes, point number three. <laughs> point number three, there you go. <laughs> is well, if, wait, wait, I can probably, you know, like flip people off with my toes, but it uh, be a little hard. It might be <laughs> a little hard. Anyway. <laughs> so, my third point is that, and I am not going to spoil anything here, but 
Old Boy has a rather disgusting twist right towards the end, and it's that kind of twist that I don't think would work its way well into in, 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 into an American film. So they're probably so they're probably if anything they are probably going to alter you know the ending, which then completely you know guts guts the film itself of having any kind of spirit or soul. So that right there is my big worry, which is also why I'm happy. Which is why I was happy when I heard that uh, one of my all-time favorite uh, Japanese films, one I've actually got on my Blu-ray collection over there, classic film called Battle. It was called it is called Battle Royale. They were thinking about making it in the U.S. And they didn't, partially yeah. because the plot of the film is kids are killing each other on a small island, and because they already had the Hunger Games, which actually they actually they were thinking about making Royale long before the Hunger Games was even published. So Hunger Games is such a fucking you know battle royale ripoff. Oh yes, it is big time. It's a terrible battle royale ripoff. I I can't believe so many people liked it. I Probably still. People- who had never heard of Battle Royale. And I still haven't watched it, and I really don't want to, because I've... I watched it. I've it. watched... It sucks, it sucks, it sucks. It sucks to sweat off a dead man's balls. <laughs> and it's got a, too much of that... Wow. It's got too much of that fucking Twilight, you know, lovey-dovey bullshit, you know. The worst part is, in the end, you know, like, oh, the the, the poor you know, star-crossed lovers. Let's have both of them survive because, you know, fuck the reader. Yeah, and, well, who knows? Like, perhaps maybe there'll be a payoff in one of the later books because no. there's, well, like, two other books in the series. I'm starting to think women cannot write good payoffs. <laughs> I'm really trying to disprove you, but I'm trying to think of exactly how many female authors I actually have read books from and Sadly, that number is a little bit low, uh, and that's normally because I read a whole lot of like horror novels, and there really and there really aren't a lot of female horror uh, novelists. So, so I now I you can stick expect with, a couple a couple of days from now, somebody is right. then going to start sending me comments hey, saying, "Harry you know, hates women." <laughs> oh wait, correction! I have read one horror novel from a you know female novelist. A good one. According to other people, it's good. I, ah, see, but not I, according to you. <laughs> and that's I, what matters. I tried to read Interview with a Vampire. Ooh. Fuck that book. And all of its boring, banal bullshit. I hated that goddamn book. The movie's, the movie's all right, though. I still haven't watched the movie, it's got though. Harry Oldman in it. That should be your only reason to watch it. <laughs> So you would happily watch the live action lost, you know, in space movie just because it has Gary Oldman in it. Fuck the movie yeah. is okay. The movie's actually Fuck yeah. good. Fuck yeah. <laughs> stride gum. Eat stride gum. Stride gum is awesome. Because it is because like it is endorsed kind that, of right, there's that like ID stride. It's that yeah, new it's shit ID that out. yeah, it's that ID stride. And what exactly is the point of that ID gum anyway? Is there like I don't know. It's there like, has to be like a there has to be like a gimmick to it, man. Otherwise, they wouldn't try to. <laughs> I, I only bought it because it was spearmint. Same you, reason I bought their competition. You really are into your spearmint, huh? Oh man, I love spearmint. Yeah, see, and me, if I really had to pick like a favorite gum of all time, it would have to be you Apple know pie gum. <laughs> that one actually is my second favorite, man. My, second my top favorite. though. Bubblelicious. No, man. Double mint. Double mint. That's like the, the the most. That's like the Mario of gums. No, 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 dude. First of all, juicy fruit is the Mario of gums. Okay. Juicy, and, no, juicy, juicy fruit fruits kind of sucks. Juicy fruit juicy is juicy fruit the Luigi shit too. On top of it, <laughs> juicy fruit is the Luigi of gums. Double mint is the Mario of gums. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Someone's asking if we are excited for Iron Man 3. Um, no. Not really. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to it, but that's partially because I still haven't seen Iron Man 2. Mm-hmm. And that's because I wasn't a, and that and that's cuz the first movie was okay, but you also have to understand I am not 
I am not a big Iron Man fan, like, at all. I have never really been able to get into the character, partially because he's just a rich, he is basically just a rich, he's basically just a rich alcoholic douchebag. And yeah, which is funny because he's portrayed by a rich alcoholic, by a rich alcoholic douchebag. And in fact, I actually have a friend who's a big, big Iron Man fan, and I have since gone to nicknaming Iron Man whenever I'm talking to him as well as to others. I I have since gone to calling Iron Man the billion dollar beer can just because that's pretty much what he is. You know, if Tony Stark gets you know fucking you know like liquored up, then that suits more or less just a. Glorified See, that's, why I think Robert Downey Downey Jr. that's why I think Robert Downey Jr. was perfect for the role. He is fucking Tony Stark. <laughs> yes, he is. But I will say that I have seen at least in like at, at, at least in like some of the like promotional images and as well as the toys that are showing up everywhere. I am happy to see that they do have the Iron fucking Patriot outfit there. Are you okay, dude? Swallowed my gum. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back back onto my point. I I am happy to see that Iron Man three does feature the Iron fucking Patriot armor, which to me has always been the coolest looking Iron Man armor to ever be seen ever. So there is that. However, that honestly is going to lead more towards me wanting to buy the Iron Man toys and less watching the Iron Man movie. And since I don't buy buy toys very often, the odds of that are even kind of slim. So yeah, um, I'm not really looking looking forward to Iron Man three. However, it, <clears throat> I, I will say I am kind of looking forward to Captain America two, Thor two, Avengers two. I'm looking forward to those. Well, at least you liked Avengers, so. Oh yeah, dude. You know. Avengers was great. That, oh, man, well, evil, evil Dead. <laughs> Any thoughts on Evil Dead? I um, well, I'm going to say this. I do not have to watch it because, again, I look over at my Blu-ray collection here, and what do I see? Oh, I see the Evil Dead, I see Evil Dead 2, and I see Army of Darkness. You see I the have, real ones, the ones that I have, have in them. I have right up there, I have three fucking reasons to not watch the new Evil Evil Dead. So, yeah, well said. We yeah. <laughs> remember, shop smart. Shop, shop S smart. smart. Yes. Someone else is asking if we are looking forward to Jurassic Park 4. Fuck no. Um, a lot of people always seem to give me grief whenever I say this. I didn't even like the first one. <laughs> So I never watched the second one. I never watched the third. Uh, I'm obviously not going to watch the fourth. Here's a good one. Emmer, considering you're a film reviewer, what are your thoughts on Roger Ebert's passing? Were you a fan of his? Okay. Well, you see, a couple of people... I Like Nostalgia Critic, are you willing to make money off of his damn, you know, not not quite dead corpse yet? You know, well, not quite see, warm corpse. What I yeah see now that now that right there is what I was going to say was that like within like a day of Roger Ebert's passing I had already gotten messages from people asking me if I was going to make a video uh, talking about his death and this and that and I said I, and I and I said I wouldn't because I do not want to be seen as the sort of person who is trying to cash in on Roger Ebert's death even you know I mean even even seriously if it was just to like even if it was just yeah. to like generate views off of his name, I did not want to do that because that is absolutely disgusting. I did. And and I, that's, I, that's exactly I had, what the nostalgia critic did. I had no idea that he even did that because that's because I don't watch his shit. You know that's what's funny is that he, he put not only one but two ads because you know what he likes to do nowadays with his videos. He puts the ad at right the in the middle and the one in the middle. Yeah, and I put mine at the beginning and the end. About and it's a video of, most of all talking about how much how how you know how happy he is that Roger Ebert acknowledged his existence by saying, oh, yeah, I liked what, what the nostalgia critic did, yeah, because he made a video about, you know, Roger Ebert, and Roger Ebert apparently sent him an email or something saying, I love your work. And well, that, that gave him such a huge chub that he's all like, oh, yeah, see, Mark, Roger Ebert acknowledged my existence. I'm awesome. Well, and I'm see, sad he's dead. Here's, give me some money, you know, for... Acknowledging his death. Now, what? Now, what I will say when it comes to Roger Ebert is that, to be totally frank with you, it is thanks to Roger Ebert that we have people such as me or Doug out there covering, you know, movies and well, 
I can't really speak on Doug since he's playing a character in all of his videos, but yeah, at least reviewing. <laughs> at least at least though when I am covering a movie, I am not going into it as some as this fucking, you know, like snobby fucking like art house douchebag. I'm actually mm -hmm. I actually am covering the movie more as a piece of entertainment and Roger Ebert was one of the first critics who did that because almost every other critic prior like prior to would basically shit on anything if it wasn't like high art and Roger Ebert was was willing to look at comedies and he was willing to look at like splatter films and he was able to go you know these these yeah, like you know the do have positives he, yeah I like the fact that, that he was actually you know realizing that, okay, the, the films that us critics like are not necessarily the same kind of films you as, a, as an average viewer is going to like. And, you know, he, he was able to cross that threshold, whereas you go to fucking RottenTomatoes.com, their, their user score is never the same as their critic score. It's always, if the critics liked it, the average user hated it, and vice versa. Unless, unless it was a Pixar or Disney film. Then oh, yeah, it's always just high grade no matter what. Yeah, it's always like high marks, no fucking like matter what. But anyway, um, my thing is that Roger Ebert, Roger Ebert's passing, I know, is going to leave a massive uh, void in the world of, you know, movie fucking like in, in the world of movie criticism because... Because Ebert, because because Ebert was just kind of sort of that 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 pillar that basically kept everybody else honest, and with him gone, I'm not totally sure if 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 like every single critic who was trying to follow his style are going to continue to look far more like realistically at movies, or if they're all going to mutate back back into those art house snobby dickheads that we hated hated hearing from 30 years ago. Well, it's now, up to us to be the kind of reviewers that we want to be, which is the bingo. honor. Tell it like it is, reviewer. And this right here, and this here is going to sound a little bit dark, but you know, but you know, the fact that but the fact that he lived a long, a long, happy, you know, life in his in his last couple of years, you know, his cancer had taken away his lower jaw, it had taken away his ability to speak, it had taken away his ability to walk, if memory serves. Yeah. It's like... It, and this sounds really dark, but I really believe that he is in a much happier place now because he no longer has to worry about the pain of, you know, cancer and all that other stuff. And he is, and he is going to be deeply missed by every single, by every single film, you know, lover out there. I mean, every single person who watches movies and that they love movies, they usually, they usually at least, at the at the very least, respected Roger Ebert. Even honestly, if they didn't follow follow like what he said, he was still he was still one of those people that you looked at and you just kind of sort of like looked up to him. And yeah. frankly, a lot of people have been trying to figure out who is going to be the next you know Roger Ebert, who is who is going to be that voice of the people, but. Really, we should not be looking for the next big voice. Voice of vo we should we shouldn't be looking for the next Roger Ebert. We shouldn't be looking for the next voice of the people. We should be looking for just we should just be looking for a critic who we believe, who we who we as who we as a person believe is someone who is worth listening to. And it really doesn't matter if it's like Travers on, over on fucking like Rolling Stone or if it's uh, Roper or if it's somebody like Doug or me. If you honestly can find a critic and you really and you really, you really want to listen to them more than anyone else, well, I, I personally wouldn't, you know, I, I personally wouldn't do that. I would try to get as many different, you know, opinions as possible just to basically kind of see what the like general feel is amongst numerous people, but hey, if you seriously want to stick to just one, go for it. You find the person who works for you. And I am going to miss, I am going to miss Roger Ebert because he was one of the snarkiest professional critics out there. Are you having problems over there, dude, or something? It almost sounded like you like gagged over there. Am I loading you up with sap or something or what? A little bit. <laughs> But yeah, um, I just sort of wanted to say that, uh, you know, that, well, I mean, now like you guys asked, I sort of thought I'd get it out there that Roger Ebert is going to be seriously missed. On the and, bright uh, side, Gene Shalit is still alive. I'm still not sure how, but yeah, he is still alive. <laughs> yeah.
I can't believe Gene Shalit actually outlived, you know, Roger Ebert and Gene Siskel. He, he outlived them both. Let's see here. He is a shittier critic. He is a shittier critic. Did you guys see the Monsters remake that was, what the hell? Someone here has a question here. Did you guys see the Monsters remake that was like one episode? Monsters remake? Are they talking like a remake of the old, like, early 90s show Monsters? No, I had no idea that they had actually tried to remake uh, that. No, no, no. Actually, they made a remake of the of the Pixar Monsters, Inc. Oh, are you, wait, are you talking about that, like, prequel that's coming out? Uh, Monsters I you. U. I Isn't that? Was, I thought it was like a remake of Monsters Inc. What they were making. Oh, okay. No, 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 dude. It's supposed to be like a prequel that's showing, uh, that is showing them in college learning how to scare. Oh. That's that. There's kind of sort of that. There's sort of what Monsters. That's sort of what that is. Sort of what Monsters University is. Oh. Okay. It's supposed to be like so. Yeah. I, I'm, that's Hangover right. Part 3. Your <laughs> thoughts on it? <laughs> yeah. Watch as my eyes roll. <laughs> well, I should say this. I haven't seen either either of the previous Hangover films, so I have zero interest in Hangover 3. <laughs> I would if I would have seen the previous two, but... See, I saw, I saw the first one, and it was an eyed movie. I saw the second one, and I'm like, it's just the first one rehashed. What's the third one going to be? It's the first one rehashed again. Fuck this. Oh, boy. Just, you know, we don't need a third Hangover movie. We didn't need a second one. Well, we kind of needed a second one because people wanted, or or I should say that the studio wanted to make more money. So, Yeah. That's usually a good reason for studios. Then again, the Oogie Loves got made, so clearly some studios <laughs> don't want money. Oh, yes, yes. Speaking of that, guys, uh, believe it or not, before I uploaded the reaction and review for that, I sent Eric here the BitTorrent for the Oogie Loves movie. Go and ahead, I dude. Torrented it, and I showed it to my two kids. <laughs> Emmer is right. Kids will not, lo- <laughs> will not watch and like that movie. <laughs> I cannot get Anna to sit and watch it for more than ten minutes before she goes. Ah. <laughs> then I have to put something she wants to watch, like they might be giants. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my my little girls love love they might be giants. Uh, here come the one two threes, and here come the ABCs, and here comes science. Yeah, yeah. They might be giants are teaching my girls how to count and all that stuff. It's so awesome. And they're doing that a much better job. Is than awesome. Oogie. And they're doing a much better job than the Oogie Loves at well, keeping them entertained. Yeah, well, see, that though, dude, is because the Oogie Loves, they really didn't have anything there to genuinely entertain any kids with because you also watched it with them, right? Yes. Yeah, that was part of the part of the plan, you know, like, okay, yeah. watch it and then I can either prove Emma right or wrong, you know. <laughs> and what exactly were your thoughts on it while while we're here? <laughs> It's just, it's just stupid. Is, is is the word I would use to describe it? I mean, every now and then the movie's like, "Get up out of your chair!" <laughs> oh, 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 let's dance together. Okay, you can sit down. You can sit down now. The butterflies have flown through. It's really? no wait a minute here. No wait, no wait, no wait a second now. The butterflies were telling you to get up. It was yeah, the yeah, turtles yeah. walking the tur- across the, the turtles screen. Walking across were the, the ones that told you to sit the fuck down. <laughs> Yeah, what's funny is that even I can't imagine the one kid that went to go see it going, okay, well, the theater's empty. There's no kids here. Yeah, the movie's telling me to get up. Uh, I think I don't want to. I don't want to get up. (laughs) Oh, yeah, and look at that. You know, his pants fell down again. I was like, oh. Goofy Toofy, pull up your pants. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) And then there was the, the there's the the least Mexican people they could have possibly put <laughs> the, the Mexican at the very end. Oh come on, dude! Christopher Lloyd looks like he might be more Mexican Lloyd if he has a Mexican, and they're inside this huge Mexican hat. Sombrero, the, yeah. The two least fucking Mexican people on the planet. I mean, it would have been one thing if if they'd have gotten say, oh god, what's George his name? Lopez. 
Oh no 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 no! I'm thinking I'm thinking of uh, Carlos Mencia. Oh no! <laughs> oh God! Why can't I remember his fucking name? It'll come to me. It'll come to me. The really awesome. Fluffy be... dude. No 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 no. I was gonna say the the guy from from from. Oh God damn it! He was featured in one of those trailers. Hey, he's the guy from Machete. What's his name? Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. <laughs> that would have been awesome. I cannot imagine Danny fucking Trejo he's being in the Ugulos. He's all like, he's all like, well, welcome inside my sombrero. <laughs> that bad However, they got Christopher Lloyd. I will totally say that 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 would have totally saved the entire movie. It would have just been Danny Trejo yeah, Danny showing up. Trejo had been there instead of Christopher Lloyd. As much as I love Christopher Lloyd, Danny, Danny Trejo would have been so much better. He'd have been like, are you sure you want me to play this instrument? <laughs> Slight many flashes. No, no. Bullet. I honestly could. I honestly could just totally picture him just standing there, the bongos in his the hand, bongo. and just Danny Trejo <laughs> just playing the bongos, and he just doesn't say anything. He's just standing there like stone faced, that big ass fucking you know like tat the showing up. The the handlebar bongos. mustache, dude. Like, I mean, he would have been ideal for the movie. I mean, oh, why did the movie loves call Danny Trejo? That would have saved their movie. They would have made you know twice the month as much as they put in. And yeah. I can see him on the poster, dude, coming in August, you know, and he's, like, holding two fucking guns. Across. <laughs> coming in August. Oh, my God. But, yeah, that was such a... Such a <laughs> terrible, terrible. What's funny is that my girls didn't make it to that scene. I watched the movie alone after, like, 20 minutes of it or so. So I had to eat that scene without my, my children around me. So, um, anyway... By the way, there actually is one other guy who I who I actually think would have worked pretty, you know, well as the, you know, as as uh, as the like Mexican in that scene. No. Except I'm not even sure if he's still, you know, I'm I'm not even sure if he's still alive because I haven't heard anything from him in years. He was a stand-up comedian. His name is Pablo Fran. It was Pablo Fran, you know, Cisco. That Pablo all... Francisco is still alive. Oh, is he? And sadly, Pablo Francisco's material has not evolved in 20 years. He's still doing the Little Tortilla Boy sketch at fucking live comedy shows. Well, I mean, it's still funny, though. I mean, no, no. Well, I mean it'd be I funnier if you could it, add it. Heard it up. That's the problem, is once you've heard it like a hundred times, like I have. Yeah. So have <laughs> I I've actually gone to his live show a couple of times. I've never had the chance to see him live. I've just seen his like various like stand up specials. Yeah. So And yeah, he that's the problem is 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 you know, most comedians year after year they come up with new material and they and they bring it to their show. Pablo Francisco is one of those who no, he's stuck in the same fucking stuff he's been doing since the nineties. Well, dude, you obviously then have never seen Jeff fucking Foxworthy live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cause um allow yeah, me to he's basically, you know, a uh, Mexican, you know, Jeff Foxworthy. He still has the same exact, you know, he still does does the Arnold Schwarzenegger little tortilla boy thing at the at the end. He, he still does the same exact jokes. He has. He been. still has, you know, everything, you know, fucking like fucking like talking about like the uh, movie trailer voice guy uh, La Fontaine, even though yeah. he's long dead. Still, yeah. still probably still kicking that. that like, yeah, so, and, and it's funny because he's still he's still like yeah. I, I spoke with him the other day, and, and and he said, "Go to your room. Go to your room." Like like he's still doing that joke. Like, dude, dude, evolve. <laughs> it's been 20 years. You're still now, telling the same fucking jokes. Now, I know some people are going to ask what in the hell I mean when I talk about Foxworthy. Well, years and years ago, uh, when Jeff Foxworthy had just, you know, gotten his big, you know, break with that, with that first, with that first fucking album he put out through, uh, what the hell was the record label? Warner Brothers. Uh, there was another company out there which was which had access to a whole lot of his earlier stand-up acts, and they put out like six or seven tapes uh, because while well, I didn't have CDs and all I had were, were just these tapes. <clears throat> and I swear, I swear to Christ, if you took those seven tapes and his one album from Warner Brothers at that time, and you put them, and you basically could maybe cobble together about three albums worth of humor, because he just kept using the same shit again and again. The redneck jokes were the same in like three of them. Uh, he, he would just keep on hitting like the same jokes, and 
you would then watch his like stand-up specials, and he would then be rehashing like shit that he did like a decade ago. And he still and he still does that a lot now. The big difference is that where Pablo apparently hasn't changed a, hasn't changed a fucking thing. Foxworthy at least will add stuff to it, but he then still occasionally goes back and he dips into the older stuff. And it doesn't help that I had all of those old old tapes, and I've heard all of those jokes told like three or four different times. I don't, don't want to hear it told a fifth a, a a fifth time with almost nothing changed. That's and Monty says, get off the YouTubes and get me some pie. Okay. Monty, Monty wants us to get off the YouTubes and to get him some pie. Well, Monty, what you should do then is you should head down to your local gas station and you should buy a pack of that fucking gum that tastes like apple pie. You really should. That stuff is amazing. Dad, you should, you should eat Wrigley's <laughs> ice cube. Really? <laughs> Oh, okay, well, yeah, or Stride. Or, or the ID gum, yeah. Oh, ID Stride. We have no idea why we have that. Let's see. Oh, we have a couple more comments here. Let me take a look at these. Some guy posting the same thing again and again. Will I do an R&R on the Zombie Bloodbath trilogy? Will you? I've never even heard of it. Oh. Then I guess you won't. Yeah, I would love to if I knew. Oh, and uh, someone else is asking, and this is from way, way back. Is Carlos Men? Is Carlos Men see a Mexican? No, he isn't. He's from. Uh, he's from the Netherlands. He's right? from. No, 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 no. He's actually from. I think like Belize. Oh. He actually has stated a few times he's from. He's from somewhere isn't else. His real but... name isn't his real name like Ned. Something Ned Ned Holder or something like that. He has, he has he's he's got such a white boy name. <laughs> he to Carlos Mencia. I, I, I instinctively go Carlos Mencia because that's what, that's how I know him. You know. Yeah, because he is kiping jokes from everyone he can find. A fucking douchebag that steals jokes from everybody. Yeah. So yeah, apparently he's from. Or no, wait, correction. He's from uh, fucking Honduras. He's from Honduras. Honduras. Yeah, he is from Honduras. 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 Honduras bag. Yeah, there we go. Creative. <laughs> no, creative is not uh, is not a word I would use to. Matter of fact, I was talking about your 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 joke, not him. Oh, oh. <laughs> Create. Like, yeah, like creativity is not actually, something creative, that Carlos. Creative was about. was like when South Park put put uh, Carlos Mencia on their on their fucking show, and they had they had like mafia men beating the fuck out of it. They had. Um, freaking what's his name? Uh, Kanye West beat the fuck out of him with a baseball bat. That was the best thing ever. <laughs> you didn't see that, I guess. Uh, no, but you see that though is because I haven't watched a whole lot of South Park in the last couple of years. It's like I finally, I finally got around to watching the uh, episode where everybody is getting high off of, off of like cat piss, and they're like traveling into the world of, they're traveling into the world of heavy metal, which I love, I love that movie, and I was just sitting there watching it, going, okay, you know, it's kind of funny, and well, at least. And well, you know, at least they're at least they're using most of the fucking like at least they're using most of the heavy metal soundtrack. I saw that and went, "Oh, that is awesome." <laughs> the only thing which kind of sucks is that I watched it at work because there was nobody else in the break room, and they would come walking in, and they would just see this, and they, and they would just see this like chick with massive, massive boobs, and they're just sort of you know like swinging around, like, "What the fuck are are you watching?" And I'd look at him and go, South Park. <laughs> so yeah, that episode though was kind of fucked up. So oh, and somebody wants you, uh, dude, to do a fucking RAR on Jeremy on fucking Jeremy Johns. Who? Jeremy Johns. Okay. Um. I okay. Well, I actually had asked the same thing because somebody said that I should do some. I should do some kind of like a like collaborative work with him. And um, apparently, what he does is he is is he also reviews movies. Except what he does is 
uh, well, first of all, he he you know covers like current stuff, like stuff that's in theaters. And <clears throat> he basically goes home, and then he stands in he then stands in in front of a blue screen, and he goes and he fucking he goes and fucking like chroma keys the poster behind him, and he just rambles for like twelve minutes. And basically, it it basically is what I do if I were to remove all of the fucking like reaction shit. You know, he just basically sits there and rambles, and then he has just tons and tons of jump cuts. I tried to watch his review of Django, of fucking Django Unchained, and I got about two minutes in and said, I can't, no. And that right there was my one and only real, real, you know, exposure to him, so. So, yeah. So yeah. yeah, dude, you could always do a fucking, you could always do, you know, like, you could always do a fucking, like, RAR on him. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and one person and one person's asking if I've ever read the Heavy Metal magazine. Not only have I read it, I used to have a subscription to it. This was not, like, only, have, not only have I read it, I've seen uh, Razor Fist's article in it. I didn't know he had an article in Heavy Metal. Yeah, he, he has a he has an issue of Heavy Metal in his room where with something that he submitted to them. It's really oh, awesome. okay. Was it, oh, wait a minute, was it, I mean, no, like, was it, I mean, was it like an actual comic, or was it, uh, like, a letter to the editor? Like, what was it that he uh, sent in? It, it, it was it was a, a piece of a comic that, that where, where hmm. he was asking for their opinion, I guess. What time did he send this? Like, what year? Because I might have that issue amongst would, my stash. I wouldn't know. You'd have to ask him, man. <laughs> yeah, because I have... Well, because I had a three-year sub, you know, scription to it. And uh, they publish it, like, every other month. So you only get about, like, six issues a year. But goddamn, they, they have some awesome stories in there, man. Right. Heavy Metal is a fantastic magazine. In fact, I'm probably going to have to look into getting getting another fucking, like, three-year jump on it, so that there because that there'd be awesome. Okay, somebody somebody here wants us to talk about awful video games. Awful video games? Why awful? Why? why can't we talk about good ones? Yeah, I mean, why the fuck can't we I mean, well shit, you know, example, I I finally finally got my hands on a copy of uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. Ooh. I love that game, dude. That oh, fucking yeah. my my wife still hasn't put that fucking thing down. My wife in that game is kind of like me and League of Legends. Now, mind you, on that day, I bought three games for my 3DS. I bought Pokemon Rumble. It was like Rumble Blast, which is okay. Bought Sonic. I bought Sonic and All Stars Racing. You know, tra- it was like Transformed, which also is okay. And Fire Emblem. The moment that I put Fire Emblem into in. In I, the moment I put it into my 3DS, I have yet to take it out. In fact, um, I really haven't had it. I haven't had a chance to play much of it. But I think I'm only like up to like chapter 10, like chapter 10 or chapter like 12, like somewhere like in there. But the game is fantastic, and I kind of expected that because it's a fucking Fire Emblem game, and those are always and those are always at least fun. But this thing is. Fucking spectacular, man! It, it, I mean, guys, if you've never played a Fire Emblem game, this one here is a good one to start to go and like start off with. So, so MXP two three one asks if there was one tomato left on planet Earth, who would you throw it at? I would eat it. If it's the last tomato on Earth, I would eat it. Why, dude? Tomatoes like tomatoes taste all fucking like nasty and shit. Not if you prepare them right in the right food. And shut up! I wouldn't throw it at you. <laughs> because the only time that I ever that I that, that I can ever tolerate tomatoes is a sauce on a pizza. That's really like the only time I can ever have tomatoes. See, see? and you wouldn't have that if you threw away the last fucking tomato. And yes, but but I would have no problem having a sauceless pizza and have it just be meat and cheese on dough. I'd happily live with that, dude, if given the choice. Bah. All of a sudden now, I'm tempted now to <coughs> call up fucking to go and fucking call up, to call up like Pizza Hut. Well, I actually can't I want call a pizza up with no sauce on it. Yes. Oh, no, yes, yes, yes. The Wonder, the wonder Dough bread, the, the cheese. I would just sit there and I'd call them up and go, look, guys, I want a meat lover's stuffed, stuffed crust pizza with no, no with marinara sauce. With no fucking sauce. Make it happen, please. 
<laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> Zedriza says, Asa, did Sour Apple ever recover from that beating you gave him? Ha ha. I, I didn't give Sour Apple a beating. People have this, this misconception that, I, that I'm out to, like, you know, fuck people time up or you something. bully you. Yeah. <laughs> such an evil person. And no, I just gave my opinion of his shit, and he happened to not come back. Review out. any. Yes, and review any. Review anything, as long as it's not me you're reviewing. That's that's what his, what his show was all about. And it's a shame, because, you know, he probably could have made something of his show, I guess, if he had come back and actually addressed the fucking criticisms rather than go, okay, well, if somebody doesn't like me, I'm going away. Well, the thing is, though, is just that we, is just that, like, we don't even know if your, if your video is what caused him to... I know. I mean, for all we know, he, he, he got hit by a fucking truck and we never <laughs> seen or heard from him again. I mean, how do we either know? Either that or... Either that, or else just maybe he got you know fed up with nobody else watching his shit. And he just decided to leave. Or maybe right now, without us knowing it, he's discovering the cure for cancer. So, Could be. Who, who knows? Who or, knows? or maybe, or maybe like without us knowing, maybe he's been working on his ultra epic like five hour episode where he talks about the <laughs> Simpsons. <laughs> Where he, in detail, describes every single yes. character and, and all that shit. Oh, yes. And believe me, you would you would probably need about five hours to just cover the Simpsons characters. Mm -hmm. They have generated that many fucking characters for that show. Which segues perfectly into this next question. Have you ever played any of the Simpsons games? I've played tons of them. Oh, I've yeah. I played that Simpsons racing game. I played the Simpsons uh, fighting game. Wait, Simpsons racing game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on the PlayStation around the same time that the Simpsons uh, fighting game was out. Uh, it's funny because I actually have played the Simpsons wrestling, which that game yeah, sucks. Yeah, that's the fighting yeah, that, game. It didn't, it didn't game. suck. It was all right. It was fun. I and mean, it was fun, you know? My all-time favorite Simpsons game, though, is Road Rage. Rage. Road oh, Rage. Or no, wait, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was Road Rage. It was their fucking crazy taxi clone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's their racing game. Oh, no, wait. That one there, dude, was on the PS2. No, same thing. <laughs> Whatever. Play I don't remember fucking systems. And it does, have, and it does have multiplayer, which to me makes it better than any fucking crazy like, taxi game ever. Ooh, actually, the best Simpsons game is still the Simpsons arcade game, though. Oh, yeah, I totally for Yeah, that one there tops it. Speaking of which, I might as well say this. If anyone has a PlayStation 3, yeah, I'm just going to show my little six axis here just, just to sort of show this off. I do have the Simpsons game on the PS3, so just add me on. So just go and add me on there, and we can play that, or Saints Row 3, or Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, or... I spit my gum at you, Hammer. <laughs> I've actually got a few others. <laughs> Similar, honestly, too, if you add me on Steam, we can play Left 4 Dead 2 or Terraria. You know? <laughs> or or uh, you, you guys can get on League of Legends and play with me. Which, you know, probably more, more fun, you know. Possibly. I'm a more, I'm a more fun guy than Emmer, trust me. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. See, even he admits it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or in hell, I mean, I also have on the PS3 at least. I've got you know. Just go, if you ever play, if you ever play any game with Emmer, too. if you ever play any team games with Emmer, I will show you one cardinal rule of playing video games with Emmer: never, ever retreat or surrender. Yes, Emmer, Emmer will hate you for it. You spineless fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Last time he, called, he called me French. Just so you know, he, he's, he's like, I'm not from France. Stop retreating, you French bastard. I did, yes. I do believe that those were close to my exact <laughs> words. I'm paraphrasing here, but... It, however, still very, very, very close. So, yeah. Um... Am I the only one who remembers Pyramid Head 87 from the game? Oh, my God, man. Pyramid Head was awesome back then, man. I don't even Pyramid know. Head 87. Okay, Pyramid Head 87, he used to... Okay, now he now he he used to review video games around the same time that people like me and Armake and Spoonie were all you know relevant in the world of reviewing video games. And uh, what he did was not only just regular fucking reviews, which I really don't have a whole lot of 
memory of. But he also would do these bizarre little like these little um, they they were they 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 were essentially like let's plays. Except he was the only person playing them, and they were always multiplayer games, and he would play both himself and this other character, and they'd be playing the game together, and they'd be, like, mocking each other and bitching at each other. It was kind of funny shit, and I'm, I, I, I actually kind of wish that he would bring, like, some of that stuff back. It, I, I believe that series was called, uh, it was like Dual, it was like Dual Paradox, I think was the name of that one series, and I loved it. It was just some funny, funny shit. Ooh, Ratchet Command says, Have you guys seen Oz the Great and Powerful? I actually have. Oh? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was it was pretty good, actually, considering what they were working with. Uh, Mila Kunis can never pull off the Wicked Witch of the West, though. She's just not... She doesn't have that evil thing. They cast her. Mila Kunis as the Wicked, the Wicked Witch of the West, yes. Oh, and apparently somebody just added me on Steam. That's fantastic. Oh, and uh, for anyone who wants to add me on the PS3, I guess I should uh, clarify this. My my screen name on the PSN is Helsing-920, so it's Helsing-920. Just basically so that way you're not adding like some other random ass account. It's so because, it's because Emmer is a My Little Pony fanboy. That's why, you know, Helsing- Dash. He loves Rainbow Dash, so. I really just want to smack the ever-loving shit out of you right now for that one. What the hell, dude? Yeah. Hey, Asa, how would you rate your gaming skills from 1 to 10? Uh, around the minus 5 or so? Yeah, somewhere around there. I suck at games. There, there are a couple of choice games that I'm good at. And, yeah. Next question. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Oh, well, uh, Kari is asking about the origin of my screen name. Well, I'm going to assume it's my screen name. Well, now, what is the origin of Emerson as a name? Well, Emerson actually is the name of my, well, was the name. He sadly is no longer with us, but it was the first name of my great uncle. Oh. So it just sort go. of carried itself over. There you yeah. go. So that's that. That's your name out of yeah, the way. Yeah, there's the origin of my name. But as for Helsing nine nine twenty, because people have asked that a lot. Well, Helsing came simply because when I first when when I first created my first YouTube channel, when I created that first one, I had just finished watching the Helsing series, and I absolutely adored it. And I decided to use that as my screen name. And nine and the whole fucking like nine twenty was well, I was incredibly lazy, so I so I just sort of thought I'd throw my area code on there, my telephone area code, which oh, I wow. you still live a, in the 920 area code. That's, you pulled a Ray Mysterio. He called his ultimate move. His, his his, the 619. Which is San Diego's area code. Yes. Uh, and then and then I lost that old you know account, and then I had to create a new one. I knew people were going to be looking for Helsing, so... Uh, so you went with Hey, I, I sing. With he 11 sing 920, yes. <laughs> and speaking of Helsing, while, now while I'm on the subject, a lot of people always see my little uh, pendant here, my little like uh, necklace here, and a lot of people have thought that this thing's actually like a fucking like Porsche logo or something. Well, actually, let me get this thing taken off and I can show you. No, oh, he's going to take it all off. I'm going to take it all off, ladies. Oh, yeah. He's single, ladies. Oh, Jesus. Caught on my little. There we go. Hey, let me get this. Uh, Is that a fast. Captain America shield on your thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Captain America button. I thought I'd wear one of the buttons I usually wear in my videos. Yeah, but actually, it is the uh, Helsing emblem from the uh, from the fucking anime. Let me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, that right there is the uh, necklace I wear. Oh, and also get to show off that ring I bought recently. It's yes, I am this much of a of a comic book geek. I do have a blue lantern flash ring, which you I think is showed, pretty cool. You showed me that a couple of. I did show you that before, yeah. But what? But what? A lot of people have seen my nipple ring over here. Then. I didn't know that you had a nipple ring. That's. 
Ew. However, I also bought this, and it's not going to show up on camera very well, but um, yeah, that, after... The actual no, Lord of the Rings fucking ring. Shortly after, yes, shortly after I saw The Hobbit in theaters, oh, I went, God, I, I have to you. own that fucking ring. I hate so, you for having that. Why? Because if I ever come visit yes. you, if I ever come visit you, I'm gonna steal that fucking thing from you. <laughs> Why, gonna, dude? I bought it off eBay for six bucks, man. <laughs> I'm gonna jack your house, man. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna like if you ever invite me over, you gotta put that ring away, man. <laughs> yeah, because it's my precious. The precious is mine. Out, out of all the out of all the knickknacks you've shown me, that's like the one thing that I. <laughs> oh really, dude? Just this fucking like ring right here. Is like the thing. Wow. Oh, awesome. I love the one ring. The one ring is fucking pimping as hell, man. I love oh, it. Hell yeah, man. I, I would totally get a Prince Albert of it, just like like what's his face did in a sketch. Ew. <laughs> I would I, wear that on my uh, shoulder. I would wear that on my dick. <laughs> I have nothing else. Wow. <laughs> Gate me. Uh, that is a that is a conversation ender, right? Oh, there. and uh, Kari here asked just just you know just you know be just before she took off for college. What are our thoughts on the on Justin Bieber's recent scandal? Um, what recent scandal? I guess I'm out oh, of. Oh boy! Okay. I guess I'm out of the loop on this one. <laughs> All right, dude. Story time. Did, did they finally, Bieber. Did they finally find out that he was the one behind the bombing in Boston, or what? <laughs> Wow, I really wasn't even thinking that we were going to reference the Boston bombing tonight. Anyway, um, <laughs> this show is all about commitment to bad taste. And I have to do that. You know? Very much so. And who knows, dude? Who knows then, man? Perhaps, honestly, then at some point, now perhaps, honestly, at some point, Owen Hart will just, you know, drop in and give us some fun. <laughs> drop in! Oh! Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So anyway, uh, back to this whole like Justin fucking Bieber thing. All right, he was at, he was I be, he was over in Europe. I believe he was at the Anne Frank house. They actually have turned like Anne Frank's house into a some kind of a fucking like historical site, or else he was at some he or he was at some kind of like a like Anne Frank museum, or it had something to do with Anne. It had something to do with Anne Frank, and he wrote in he wrote in the guest book. As as he was signing it, he then said that he hoped that if he 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 then said that he kind of hoped that Anne Frank would have been a would have been a B Lieber if she were alive today. That's wow. or something or something to that Nate or something to that effect. He directly what said a, that. What a self-centered <laughs> little douchebag! I know, wow. I know that you know he that. Is- I mean, th- does he realize just how disrespectful that is? What a fucking... In fact, hang on. I am going to go find the. I am. I am going to go find the actual quote. This should be good. Wow. Justin Bieber and Frank. This should totally pull up exactly what I'm looking for. Hopes Anne Frank would have been a. Oh yeah, he hoped that she would have been a believer. Oh, here we go. Found it. Hang on. All right, What's the actual quote? The actual quote. Now, mind you, now this here is coming off of. Now, this is coming off of the Huffington Post. So, mm-hmm. and okay, it's not coming right from here. The onion, so at least we know it's not a yeah. joke. Well, then again, though, dude, you know it is. It is coming from the Huffington Post, and they aren't really the most trustworthy source either. Yeah, <laughs> but they're not the Onion. <laughs> True, but they yes, but they you know aren't. But but they aren't the Onion. Bieber's exact quote was that he wrote in this guest book was Anne Frank was a great girl. Hopefully she would have been a believer. She would have been fucking 80, 90 years old, dude. I very much doubt she would be a believer. Well, you know, still. There are also dude are, you know, like little old ladies who dig fucking Justin Bieber. Okay. Yeah. Ah, to everyone, what do you yeah. guys think of the new of the new tsunami? This awkward moment has brought to you yes. by Wrigley's ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, what are your thoughts on the new tsunami? 
since they fucking like brought it back on Saturday nights and all this yeah, other it shit. It depends on what shows they're showing on, and if they're showing fucking um, Naruto, then fuck that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they are. It's basically like Naruto, Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist, like Brotherhood. I think is still running on there, but they are running one good show. Uh, and I would happily watch it on Toonami, but I've already got the whole series on Blu-ray, and I'm getting through that it right is. now. <laughs> oh, actually, allow me to show you this way. Don't I tell, actually, show, right? Yeah, yes. Don't tell show because I do have because I do have a couple of fucking like buttons I wear for my videos that tie into it, and people have asked if if I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm a bit of a fan of Soul Eater. Never heard of it. Oh, dude, the show is amazing. Plus, uh, also, somebody else actually sent me in a couple more buttons. One of them features my favorite character from from the series, if the button will actually show on camera. Kind of, oh, there we go. Cool. Get, cool. Yes. Cool. <laughs> yes, my favorite character in Soul Eater, those of you who want to know, is, is Excalibur, the fucking holy sword. Excalibur is the fucking shit, man. I love him. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a long story, dude. Just your best bet. If you guys want to know what anime Ace is watching, well, there was an old '80s manga that recently got a revamp in 2000, end of 2012, called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and that's what I've been watching. And the second season just finished. And How was, is it? Because I've never had a chance to watch any of JoJo's. Oh, it, 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 it's awesome, but if you like me have read the manga, then you'll feel a little cheated because it's. It's really summarized. <laughs> it's what like, do you like... guys think? Oh, boy. Oh, sorry, dude. Go ahead, man. Go ahead oh, and no, finish no, up, I... and then I'll get to the next question. I didn't I... mean to cut you off there. <laughs> I think I've said enough. You can go to the next one. <laughs> oh, no, 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 dude. This this seriously is sort of trivial. Just go ahead and finish up your, your thought before we... Well, that's the thing. Is <laughs> it's a thought... <laughs> It's no longer there. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to save myself from, from, from humiliation, and you're pushing me back. No, fucking finish the thought. Like, finish it, damn you. It's not there anymore. Dance, monkey, dance. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The question is, what do you guys think of the game grumps? There's nothing to think of them. Their show sucks. Like I said, I wanted you to finish your thought before we dove into that. <laughs> before we dove into that. There's not much to dive in there. I mean, you know, it's... Ugh, God. I don't think you'll you'll see a bigger amount of cocksucking than on that show. And there's a lot of Rule 34 videos to prove my point. <laughs> really? There's a lot of Rule 34 videos. Oh. Oh, oh Amber. and you've seen these. Oh, Ammer, Ammer. And you've watched these. You're not seriously asking for this, are you? I'm Dude. not asking for a link. No, I'm I just trying to late. say you've, no, no, you've no, no, watched no. these. It, it is it is too late for you now. Now you you've sick got... bastard, you. <laughs> All right, so here you go. Uh, oh dear God! If I can find the little chat thing. Okay. <sighs> All right, man. There you go. Watch that and have fun. All right. Well, I guess yeah, I should. Uh, Watch YouTube videos together. I can put it in here, actually. Don't worry about that. Because... Hang on, hang on, because I, I want to actually see if this works, the watching the YouTube thing. Um, how do you do it? <laughs> oh, push to talk. Okay. So, But where do you put the, the YouTube video that you're going to watch? I don't know. Click it's opening click it right now. Videos to, click on add videos to play. Oh, there we go. Add videos to playlist. You know, dude, we actually should be trying to experiment with this sort of shit when we're not doing a chat, you know? Oh, what the hell? Oh, boy. Okay. So, can you watch this? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm watching it right now. Uh, it, it, what I what I'm what I'm wondering is if our viewers are watching this. Dude, dude, should we even be allowed to watch this? <laughs> the fact that this is on YouTube. Slap that ass. Slap that. I'm gonna go in here. <laughs> I 
love the look on your face, Helsing. <laughs> what the hell am I watching, dude? You're watching Game Grumps. What what did you think you were watching? This is fucking horrible. <laughs> yes, this exists, Sammer. My enjoyment comes from watching you right now. <laughs> I just want you to know right now, dude, I hate you, and I wish you ill. <laughs> hey, this is this is payback for, for showing me Salo. <laughs> hey, you reviewed Boku no Pico and this bothers you? No. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Holy shit. <laughs> the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> now, what I want to know is if I've managed to make our viewers watch that by putting that in that thing. I don't know, I don't if, that, know. Um, I don't know if that worked or not, so maybe someone can tell us if they managed to see it, because I want to see if this thing works. Where's the link? That's Game Grumps. Game, the Game Grumps was fun for about five minutes. My face is priceless. Yes, I am watching this, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> All right, dude. Hiatus was able to tell you, yeah, or correction, you know, Hiatu 5. Hiatu 5. Hiatu 5. But yeah, subscribe, man. You got to subscribe. Uh, oh, and going back to the whole anime thing, um, one person said that they are currently watching Duel Masters, which I'd like to say, I I I used to watch Duel Masters. In fact, I used to also play the Duel Masters uh, card game. And what I loved about the Duel Masters anime when it came over to the U.S. was that they just did a fucking like gag, you know, dub with it, and it just made it fucking hilarious. Well. Now you can see what people can do with dubs there. All right. Oh, um, how do you guys like Duck Duck Dynasty? The fuck is Duck Dynasty? Oh my god, dude! You've never watched. Oh wait, no, you don't have cable, do you? Or do you have cable? That that requires paying for something. Okay. Well, Duck Dynasty is a show on a. A, and uh, <clears throat> I will say that I am that I am a bit of a fan of it. Ah. What the hell are you watching? <laughs> no, 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 I'm trying to get this fucking YouTube thing to work. So well, you... please stop. No, no I'm not going to show that. I just want to <laughs> see actual YouTube videos with people and like comment over YouTube videos. That could be like a thing we do, you know? We could. Like, like like that comic book thing that that, that we haven't made made that we oh watched yeah 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 ago. when you wanted me to I mean when you want me to join you in that you know like R A R of fic oh, yeah. <laughs> just be us just commenting how on how do you remember their name <laughs> because you like comic books is that what it is <laughs> dude it is such a stupid name it's like fic with like four fucking f's <laughs> fic yeah. Thick. Now what is it? The the final fantasy. It was famous. Okay, it was because of a comic shop which was called Famous Faces and Funnies. Oh, there you go. F -F -F and oh. Invest Comics was the name of the website that worked with them. Yes, yeah, so it was thick with three F's. I'm sorry, because it was Famous Faces and Funnies. It was three F's. I C F F F I C. 
god awful series. Horrible. Uh, it's just two guys. Basically, they're kind of doing what me and Eric are doing, except they're both in the same room. They're sitting at a table. The camera, the camera is about ten feet away. They do not have mics. They're both sitting there just mumbling and babbling and like, oh, next comic is uh, Batman issue four and the artist on page seven. And the other guy's just rambling on top of him. It's just two people talking on top of each other for a fucking 40 minutes as they go through a stack of comics about yay high. It's terrible. Uh, let's see if I can actually make this work. So add videos to playlist. Anyway, back to back to what Duck Dynasty is, because uh, somebody, I mean, well, well, you know, because you asked, <clears throat> is that um, all right? It's it basically is a show about a family who have made millions of dollars off of duck calls. Oh wait, yeah. Oh, sure. Sorry. Apparently, I'm being a little bit loud. I gotta tone it down some. Anyway, duck. Now, uh, now back to what duck. Now, what to to what duck dynasty is? It's basically a sitcom. I'm just gonna use sitcom because there's no way in hell this shit is real. It, but it does follow an actual I'm family sure. who've made Whoa. millions of dollars off of duck calls. Trying to see if this is actually. It, it, does it have to be initiated by the guy who's? Maybe I you think have so. To. Maybe you have to initiate it. Can, can you not see the video that that I, that I put in there, man? Um, on the share YouTube videos. Uh, thing? Hang on, it's opening now. I just want to see. Loading the app and connecting to Google. No? Yes? No? Maybe? Um, yeah. He, oh, yeah, dude, it's going now. I'm seeing a... Is that a fucking gorilla? Okay, good. So so it is working. Now the, Now I, I wonder if our, if our viewers can see the gorilla eating his own shit. <laughs> now I'm going to randomly interrupt with videos like this. <laughs> <laughs> Look on your face. So, I didn't know that gorillas essentially shat out, you know, leafy, like leafy looking grass. That's. Yeah. Ew. And then he shits, he puts it in his mouth, up, like, hey, it, it tastes better once it's been through me. <laughs> it's ice cubes from Wrigley. <laughs> <laughs> this is essentially what the gorillas are eating. <laughs> The only thing that sucks is I gotta press the talk button in order to talk. I know, I know that really is like one minor issue with us. But I do get to show people a gorilla eating shit, so I mean that that, that kind of makes up for it. <laughs> eh, kind of a little bit. It's a gorilla eating his own shit. How can you not love that? Now the question is, how many of our viewers saw the gorilla eating shit? Now, I need to ask, why exactly are you showing this to us? Oh, no reason. Now, I, I just... need to ask, why exactly are you showing this to us? No reason whatsoever. Oh, no reason. I just need to ask, why... <laughs> okay, that was different. Yeah, we really don't need to monkey around with this app any further. Wow, I didn't even mean to make that sort of pun. Come on, you knew you did I that. did not mean it. I swear to God I didn't. You know you did that on purpose, you bastard. <laughs> However, though, now if we ever plan out these a little bit better in the future, well, we now I, I know something see we can... It. See, now I'm going to try to... The fuck you guys watching? Okay, so that did work. Never even saw the fucking link. Oh, it's not a link. You just watch what we're watching. You just watch what, what we're watching, yeah. Oh, wait, what the hell? That's awesome. The fact that okay. someone says the fuck that you guys are watching. AVGN video game. Why? Good God. What? what? AVGN oh, video game. okay. Um, I guess I should explain, and I did not know about this until a friend had mentioned it to me, that apparently the AVGN now has a game on 
Steam, or or rather, it's part of their like Steam fucking like uh, green light project. Didn't we already have have a fucking game done in his he, honor? He did, but well, wait, well, I'm not sure if this is that that same game or not. But now they're slowly trying to get it out on Steam, so that way people can pay even more fucking money in order to get more AVGN bullshit. Even though it's just nothing more than a really bad mod of you know like Mega Man Two essentially. Huh, bullshit. That's a lot, 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 lot of bullshit. Yeah. Oh, in fact, hang on a moment. I will. I actually can look it up for you. Let me go. Let me go into their store area here, since I since I still have Steam open. Meanwhile, Let's I'm gonna see. search for another video. View all green light games. Here we go. Because Steam now has this new service it's, or this new setup, it's called Steam. It's called Steam Green 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 Light, where basically like smaller smaller titles, indie games, and all that are able to, you know, get possibly sold on Steam. All right. So yeah, YouTube showing up. Do your thing. Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures. Here it is. Influenced by retro classics Mega Man and Castlevania, Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures features the AVGN and friends as they blast their way through ten levels of fun. Fast-paced 2D action. Oh, yay, and now the page actually loaded on me. All right, let me uh, see. Uh, where the hell was I reading that? I was reading that before. Ah! What the hell? Okay. So as soon as I lo so as soon as I got on there, it began to auto play a trailer for for the fucking game. The sound was so fucking loud. Really don't need to My ears hurt now. Any further? Wow, I didn't even need to make. Are you watching the stream? I'm watching the stream so that I can see if our video is on the stream. It's like I still don't. I, I'm I'm not sure whether whether we're getting that or not. Who knew you? I did. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's see what else have we got going yeah, on in here. I just added I just added another another video to the playlist from from the. I am the, not you know, I am not watching it just to let you know. <clears throat> Let's just see because it doesn't have it, it's not gorillas you know eating shit anymore. It's something else. Dude, no, it's not the only other video you put up there was, and I am still surprised at how fast you found that thing, which tells me that you probably had it like bookmarked. Which was the what? Game Grumps thirty four video? Oh no, no, that no. There should be a third video there on that Wait. playlist. What are what are what are your guys' thoughts on Cartoon Network's decision to cancel Young to cancel Young, you know, Justice? Meh. What kind of sucks is I was just starting to get into the show too. I actually started watching it around you know season two. And to know that it's canceled now, well, at least, at least honestly, it at at least it wasn't around long enough to you know suck. I mean, there is there is that. I mean, it was here for two seasons. It was two really good seasons. But I mean, well, I'm just going to I'm just going to assume that the second season was good or first season was good because the second one was really solid. So I guess it's best to go out big than to, you know, slowly, slowly, like, slink off into, you know, bullshit mountain and die slowly, you know? Hmm. Let's see here. Have you guys played any games from Suda, from Suda51? I can't say I have. I have. I've played No More Heroes. That, that game was okay. And I played a little bit of Lollipop Chainsaw. Which again I saw was someone else played Lollipop Chainsaw. Which again, the game the game was the game was okay, but it wasn't great. That's really like the only way I can sum it up is it it was, you know, okay, it was functional, it was playable, but I but I wouldn't go as far as to say that it was fun. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Wow. Sounds like a little harsh. Uh, the game, well, I mean, well, dude, the game was being fucking like toted when it, when, I mean, it, or, or rather, it was being touted when it first came out as being this ultimate fantastic like hack and slash zombie like 
like like zombie killing wacky ass awesome game and it wound up just being a bland kind of kind of average like slash up fucking zombie game it really wasn't anything special the only thing it kind of had special for it was the fact that the guy who helped fucking write it uh, is the guy who uh, wrote things like Slither, and uh, he helped any any help any helped work on a handful of trauma films before he was found in Hollywood and went on to direct the Scooby Doo movies. Yeah, hmm. you know what, dude? That seriously is like the best sound we could have heard to sum up. James fucking Gunn's career. You're right. Like, Trauma, awesome. Trauma, Slither, Scooby-Doo. Yeah. <laughs> Directed the two live-action Scooby-Doo movies, and since then, I don't really think I found a reason to really care about him. What do you think of Team Four Stars' Dragon Ball Z abridged? Ugh. They really have to watch that. Yeah, they yep, they had to ask it. So, what do you think? I could give EBZ abridged. I could give zero shits. How about well, you? I have tried to watch it a couple of times, but really I'm just not into I'm, I'm just not into abridged series at all, except for one. There was one I could really get into and I thought it was kind of funny and that was and that was Elf and Lead abridged which was done by uh, a guy who a couple of people have heard of. Uh, his name is Bennett. His name is Bennett the Sage. He was working on that before he was picked up by that guy, that guy with the glasses. And uh, the only thing which kind of sucks is that he never finished Elf and Lead Abridged, which kind of pissed me off, but, you know, oh well. Oh. And it's funny because people have asked me to do like to do like voice work for a couple of different abridged shows, and I usually have to turn them down either because they are trying to abridge something I have never seen and know nothing about. That was uh, that was the case with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Wow, or who they want you to do? I have no idea. They actually never told me who they wanted me to voice for Brotherhood. I have no idea. Uh, one other person wanted me to do one, and this one here, and this here was sort of a twofer because I have never seen the show. I don't know what character they wanted me to play, and the scripted. Well, actually, this here is more like a three. This here is sort of like a three for on this. I had never seen the show. I didn't know what character they wanted me to voice, and the script was kind of weak. It was for Code Geass abridged. So I don't know who in the hell they would have wanted me to voice. The script honestly just wasn't totally there. I mean, I just wasn't feeling like comfortable with it. I mean, people honestly are are totally totally free to shoot me, you know, like scripts and ask me if if I could do some voices. But hell yeah, if you want to see Helsing at his best, he used to do this thing called Cacti Chip. Oh God, I loved that. Good times, man. Oh, I loved it too, and I was just about to become a part of the project when he you said, were a part of the project. Well, slightly. I never credited for it. <laughs> I could have sworn, dude, that I, I I could have fucking sworn that you were credited when you uh, did watch that the, voice for the game, watch dude. The video. Somebody re-uploaded the, the the one with the. It game. was well, yeah. actually, dude. Um, Andrew went and he like re-uploaded like all of them in like one big video. Yeah, and my name's not in the credits, believe it or not. Wow, I could have sworn that you were in the credits. My, all right, well, he just okay. forgot. He simply forgot. Is all that happened. It happens. I mean, and it's sad because he was about to make the game dude, you know, like a, a recurring character in his show. He, he even drew him out and everything. I had a little clip of it on my old computer, the one that's yeah. now trashed. I had a little animated clip. I want to take you home and make me mine. Make, make you mine. Make you mine. Yeah. Wait, wait, um, oh, wait, so you've seen the clip? Yeah. Somebody else had sent it to me, man. And man do, do, you, do you have it by any chance? Cause I... I also have it on a computer that has since crashed. Damn it! I want that clip again because it's like the only evidence that 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 I that I actually voiced an animated version of Game Dude. Yeah. Wasn't that also part of like Andrew's video? I could have sworn he like cobbled together like all of the fucking like lost nobody, footage and deleted nobody scenes. Can find that little clip, and it makes me oh, sad. Oh man! It, it makes me sad that it's lost to history like that. Like because that guy just dropped off the face of the earth. He never. Contacted yeah. any of us ever again? Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, like Ryan. Like Ryan just sort of had like a bunch of shit. 
like going on and yeah. well he was also kind of you know like suicidal you know he he well he is still alive i mean i actually will occasionally like see him like pop up on skype and he and i'll chat for a couple of minutes but... chat and you haven't told him hey bring back fucking you know well, you see, he actually was thinking about working on a whole new project, and he asked me if I would happily voice, like, do fucking like, voice work in it, and I said, fuck yeah, and yeah. we never even actually got as far as a script, and then he kind of sort of fell off the face of the earth again, so. Okay, so when was the last time you got to actually talk to him? It was probably about six months ago. Oh, so since then you haven't seen him online? Unfortunately, no. I haven't seen him online like anywhere, which kind of sucks. And he also, for for people who might not know him for for doing for doing cacti Maybe chip, he, he might know him as the, as the guy who came up with a cartoon called the Morshoe Show. The Morshoe Show, which I also did a little bit of voice Matter work of fact, for. Is, is that still? Oh, let's see, Morshoe Show. I want to see if the Morshoe Show Morshoe Show is still there. And also, he had one other series that I also worked on, which I was sort of happy with, which was No Date Gamers. Loved working on No Date Gamers, too. That was no date some gamers. funny shit. Okay. Especially since... Especially since... Especially since... It started off where he was just using, like, old fucking, like, audio clips of me. And then, at one point, I was killed off in the series... And my soul was transposed into, and it was it was transposed into an Xbox, and I went from being Helsing 920 to being Helsing 360. <laughs> <laughs> and it was that's just kind of awesome what I liked shit. about his stuff, man. His stuff was was just it was fresh, it was original, it was re- it's really sad that he never yeah. you know, made more fantastic stuff. But yeah, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, Morshoe Show was pretty big, actually. Oh yes, it was. We got quite a few subs off of that, and that was back when it was, you know, when that was back when having a hundred subs was a big thing, you know. Yeah. Nowadays, you know. Yeah. <laughs> God, I, he needs to come back. He does. So anyway, yeah, uh, Ryan, if you dude are watching this, I would love Please. it if you could come, come back, back, man. Yeah, animate stuff and have us voice act because both Helsing and I are at your disposal. Of course, and I know Random DC would also agree to that. Yep, I will speak for him because fuck him, he doesn't need to speak for himself. <laughs> How do I feel about Angela from Spawn being in Guardians of the Galaxy? And now I'm going to watch old episodes of the Morshu show. How the hell is Angela from the Spawn comics going to be in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie? We should show this. To, here, let me just link you. And you put it on the YouTube thingy and show it to a, to our friends here. Well, believe it. Oh, well, actually, dude, what I was going to do was once, honestly, we are done here. I am probably, I'm, I'm probably just going to find the Morshu Show like YouTube you channel and I'll link it right in there. There you go. There totally you go. have to like, you get people to know. It's in the chat. I just. I am it. not playing, dude, with that fucking like YouTube app thing tonight. Why just, not? just, just chillax. Why not? It's more shoe show. This time it's something benign. It's not something that Ace is going to fucking, you know, torch his soul. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it honestly is not like a gorilla eating shit. It's or not a gorilla eating shit. It's, but it's honest to God. The first, each other off. It's honest to God, the first episode of fucking more shoe show. Let's see. What else have we got going on here for comments? I might as well see what we got, got for comments. Uh, let's see here. What are what are your favorite books? Not Twilight and Hunger Games. However, I will say that one book I absolutely adored, and I know, and I know that we've talked about the movie earlier, was. Kari wants to know if she can join the stream. Well, I actually was thinking about ending it maybe in like twenty minutes. So. Well, have her join anyway. <sighs> Do I even have her on my thing here? That. God damn it! I always hate it. Like whenever people want to try to come in like part way through. Oh, just there we go. All right, all right, bringing her in. Yay! Even though I could have sworn that she said that she needed to like go to college or something. Well, like she she was almost 
was hit by a bus and she decided to go back home. Well, that's well, that I guess works. Besides, we 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 need a female in here. This is the sausage fest in here. True. So, uh, uh, a woman coming to the stream, brought to you by Wrigley's Ice Cubes. Keep whoring, dude. Maybe it'll get you somewhere. <laughs> um, so, Kari, are you coming or what? I yeah, and I sent her yeah, and I sent her I sent her the invite. And now we're just waiting on her. There we go. Yeah, um, so I sent Kari the invite, but she has to join. Kari, you have to get on Google+, Plus and then you can find it. Let's see here. Are you a fan of Stephen King novels? Oh, wait, first things first, I did talk about... Uh, favorite novels earlier and I never gave out the title. The book I read and really really enjoyed was the novel for Battle for Battle, you know, Royale. That book is fantastic. Oh, yeah. You're and rich. and well, and also the movie's great and the manga's okay. It really is just one of those properties that it's just great no matter how you do it, yeah. You know? I thought out of the 3 the movie was the weakest actually. Oh, the oh really? And to me honestly, dude, like the manga seems to come up a little short for me. Really? The ma the manga has, has, has better... The manga's, like, incredibly graphic and everything, and that's all, you know, like, and that there's all fucking, like, well and good, but it doesn't, but it doesn't really have the, like, staying power of either the movie or the book, so... I don't know, I thought the movie was a little too campy for my taste. I thought it could have been more like the manga. Eh, Possibly. But then again, so, you you love camp, so I oh yes, big time, which is which is why I had to go out of my way to go on eBay and buy a fucking Blu-ray copy of Ricky O, the story of Ricky, because I really wanted that fucker on Blu-ray. <laughs> um, okay. uh, also, good news for people who uh, know me and my love of campy movies, I found out that. Another movie I've seen like maybe like a dozen times and fucking love is finally coming out on Blu-ray. Next month, the nineteen ninety Captain America movie is coming out on Blu-ray. And I'm probably gonna I'm I'm probably gonna be pre ordering it in maybe like a few hours. So And yes, for anyone who who's wondering, yes, that is that is the Captain America movie where they had to sew rubber ears onto the Captain America mask. Yes. Come on, I, I actually kind of enjoyed that one. Come on, Kari. Let me get on Skype. Oh, sure, dude. You can find her over there and... Yeah, and, and then kind of lead her here. Let's see... I'm trying to find, like, other comments here, so that way we've got... More stuff to kind of talk about as we wait for Kari to drag herself in. Kari, come hither. Because our 28 viewers want to hear from you. Our 28 viewers want to see female. Yes. And now we wait. Right. Yeah, I'm going to try to come up with something here to keep us from boring our crowd. So, let's see. Let me reload the comments section again. How about a Toblerone, huh? You know, I've never had one of those. These are good, actually. I have heard that they are, like, high-end fucking chocolate, but I've never actually had one. These are delicious, and it's the only candy bar you'll see that's that comes in a triangular... <laughs> yes, dude, you have totally sold me because it comes in a triangular thingy. <laughs> it's Swiss milk chocolate with nougat and almonds. And nougat. 
I have always wondered exactly what in the fuck, exactly what the fuck is nougat anyway. It's like kind of like a marshmallowy type sweet. Sugar oh yes, I know. Except, except, well, no one ever really has explained what it is, and oh, it's just sugar. It's just strong sugar. bad though, I think, has sort of come up with the funniest answer for it. Is that nougat's basically it is 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 just that nougat is basically the fucking like candy fucking equivalent of veal. Pretty much. <laughs> Uh, it's Swiss milk chocolate with honey and, and almond nougat. Yeah. It is really sad that they haven't made anything new for HomestarRunner.com in like a year and a half now. It's 2010. It's been two. It's been over. Oh, has it been 2010? I guess when the last thing was like 2011. Wasn't it like a fucking like Christmas special? The Christmas special of 2010, man. A so wait so are you telling me that a Decemberween mackerel was 2010? I don't know. I don't know when when. Uh, well, I actually am right now on their their website and see what their well, latest. Is. See, I actually am on their. Well, I actually am on their wiki right now. I'm, I actually am on the Homestar Runner wiki. Let me find their holiday stuff. Holiday tunes. Yes, I'm going to go and look at the holiday tunes. Decemberween, December 25th. Here we go. Uh, oh. My God, you're right. It is from 2010. Well, Jesus, dude. fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude, they they haven't done anything on that. I remember when when like in 2003, 2004. That's when they were super popular. Hell yeah. And then they just kind of fell off the face of the earth. Somewhere around 2006, they kind of just dropped. Well, that though is because apparently they were like working on some movie, and they might still be working on it. Which is funny because you know. You know, uh, Strong Bad appeared in freaking you know Poker Night at the Inventory, which is still oh. one of my favorite poker games ever. Speaking of that, I pre-ordered the sequel last week, Poker there's Night a, Two. There's a sequel to Poker it's, Night at the Inventory. Poker Night Two is coming out soon, and who's in the, it? Who's in it? All right, Brock Sampson. Brock Sampson from yeah. fucking Venture Brothers. Yeah. Sam. Sam, they brought him back. Well, no, no, dude. Max was in the f- first one. Yeah, that's true. Ash Williams. Okay. Except it's not voiced by Bruce Campbell, but it's still Ash Williams. It works. And please tell, please tell me there, that one of the four previous guys comes back. No. That sucks. The fourth is the one I don't like, and that's Claptrap. What? Claptrap from the Borderlands, from the fucking Borderlands games. I hate Claptrap with a fucking passion. Oh, and pound for pound, the first four characters were much better than the fir- than the second are, characters. But they have also added, but they've also added a dealer to Poker Night too. Glados is the dealer. Wow. And they've also, and they're also gonna be throwing in the option to play Omaha Hold'em besides. On top of playing Texas Hold'em, which <laughs> the char- again, the characters were much better in the first game. Well, you know, I I will happily say that it was really cool to play to play against the heavy and to play against strong bad, and also to play against Max. I didn't fucking care about playing against Tycho. Tycho, yeah, I mean, fuck Tycho that. Had, Tycho had some pretty good lines in, in that. Though. Oh yes, and their long, slender necks. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Tycho had some really good lines. In that Tycho game. had some had some pretty good shit, but it honestly wasn't as good as like the heavy stuff or strong bad stuff. The and heavy stuff was all gold. Hell the yeah, strong bads was all gold. But I, I I pretty much strong bad and heavy were my two favorites in there. But honestly, I am really really looking forward to playing to playing poker against Brock Sampson and Ash Williams. I mean, come on, dude, I'm playing against Ash and Brock. That's awesome. Yeah, but well, and playing like against said, the first four Sanzo, guys, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I preferred the first four guys. I don't know. I mean, I'm I certainly am looking forward to it, and they're and they're selling it for I think it's like five bucks. If 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 you happen to go on Steam right now and you pre-order it, they also give you a copy of Poker Night for free, the first one. So I do have a copy of Poker Night now that I can gift to somebody because I I've, I've already bought the first one. And just like and just like the first one, they also are going to be giving you uh, bonus shit. You're, you're you're able to unlock for other games. Except now, because Poker Night Two is going to be on everything, 
the one thing that every that that every system is guaranteed to get if you happen to beat certain players is custom weapons for for uh, no wait no wait yeah eat, no I'm trying to remember now what they all have. oh yeah they all have Borderlands two weapons in there. Yeah. Borderlands 2, you are going to get like guaranteed weapons, so I might actually get it on the PS3 just so I can use those weapons in Borderlands 2. Uh, PS3 will also come with uh, wall... Uh, it's the PS3 and the 360, I believe, will both come with uh, wallpapers you can use on your system when you beat each when you beat each of the other four guys, which to me is no real big deal. Uh, on Steam, it's... Oh yeah, it's TF2 weapons and items. More stuff for Team Fortress 2, which... Frankly, if I honestly am able to like tool around with Ash's fucking boom, fucking you know, like boom stick, I'll be happy. Yeah, <laughs> slap that fucker anywhere, and I and I'd happily use it. So yeah, why don't I take a look at what the new comments are? Is where yeah, I have a feeling that Kari isn't isn't coming in. That's uh, she her computer decided to restart, and she needs to install the plugin apparently. Oh, gotcha. All right. All right, and somebody here just posted Pokemon. Well, that's probably because unless Pokemon you say their full names and you talk about Poker Night 2 and you say that you're playing against Brock and Ash. <laughs> yeah, he was thinking of something else. <laughs> yeah, instead of it being the cool Ash and, well, Brock Samson. Otherwise, yeah. Now, so what? Is it going to be like an animated Ash then? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's all done up like CG Ash, and frankly, you know, the fucking like trailer for it was sort of cool. Um, <clears throat> and the person who they got, he sounds kind of like Bruce Campbell, but you can tell it's not Bruce Campbell. It kind of see that's it's kind of what makes it like less interesting is the fact that they didn't get actual Bruce Campbell for it. You know? Well, they also weren't able to get actual Tycho to voice Tycho in the first one. Do you make that? I mean, did that make it like a crime? No, because the the, the, the Tycho voice is a really good voice. True. Oh, here we go. Kari's Hi. finally here. Hello Hi. there, Kari. You. What the hell? <laughs> so we've been invaded by, we've been invaded by one of the fucking. We've been joined by one of the like lizard men from. Fucking Flash Gordon. It's a fucking creepy, you assholes. So is, it, is there a reason you're wearing that and, you know... Ugh, because I can. Ugh. Fucking thing. Ugh. Okay, that's, that's always a... There we go. Yay. And I still honestly think it's funnier to just say that it was one of the lizard, lizard men from Flash Gordon. So, <laughs> and there you have it. Now we have actual female to go with the male. Just about. <laughs> Might as well be male. Oh, Emma, look what I got. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm reloading the comments. Okay, what do you have? You are such a nerd. <laughs> Says the one with the hell sitting stuff, along with the freaking Captain I have, America badges. I have <laughs> one hell sing necklace. One Captain America yeah. button, and I have the and I have the one ring. You make it, and you make it sound like and I'm a total the, nerd. And the other rings. I just have the Blue Lantern Flash ring and my Batman ring. What's your point? <laughs> yeah, and well, I have a I have a Mario T-shirt with like Mario One characters. On. All the Mario One sprites. Nice. Well, and I also I'm have. I'm nerdy too. <laughs> oh, I found the button to mute Emma. Yes. How the hell are you able to <laughs> mute me? <laughs> Simple. You in the Hangout, you have hover your mouse over the person's image, and then you've got the little like button, and you. Can it is horrible them. that you actually can mute the person <laughs> who's running the show. <laughs> I can? Because I can. Holy shit. <laughs> Mute that fucker. <laughs> yes, I have been muted. That's awesome. You don't have me muted now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What's this Google effect shit? 
Let's see here. Oh, and somebody else actually came up came up with a much better name for you, Kari, when you first showed up with that creeper hoodie on. Somebody somebody here in the chat has referred to you as green as green Rorschach. Probably though because it was kind of blurry blurry when you first showed up. And it kind of worked, so... Mm, my laptop shit. Let's see. So did you decide against going to school today? And the next one's not for a fucking half hour. They're a bunch of cocks. So, just go with that. Okay. So it's because you were about to get hit by a bus that you decided to not go to class. No, this is what happened. is that I was crossing the road, the bus was at the stop, and the driver decided to pull out, but I instinctively, because I wanted to get to college, not, was waving my arms in the air, trying to get him to stop, and he ended up accelerating at me, and nearly hit me. What a douche. A little bit. However, I am going to say that I really do hope, I really do hope that that bus driver is a fucking, you know, believer. You God heard damn. of the Anne Frank shit? <laughs> God, that is... St- wow. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know about that until Emmer explained it to me. And then yeah, until I told him the, the, the full story about Justin Bieber. And that was that shit. fucking crazy. No, there's actually an image going around at the moment of a screen cap of someone's Facebook. And she was bitching, saying that Anne Frank's ugly and she doesn't care that she has cancer. She doesn't have the right to actually see her boyfriend. <laughs> wow. Do, it's like they don't what even know who. Eight on Anne Frank week. I don't know. They just keep getting crazier. Oh yeah. And to think, we honestly could have those sorts of lunatic fans, Eric. Just think about that. You and well, I could honestly at some point be so... You and I could be so famous that we'll have random people claiming that we're their significant other. That's Well, funny. I already have random people claiming that I rape my kids, so... There's yeah, that. Yeah, there is that. And, Emma, you have got a lunatic fan right here. I do have one right there, yes. Uh, wait, is, is Kari a you fan or is she a me fan? Uh, me. Well, I'm not sure. Then to you. Yeah, what? I was just about to say, I'm not sure if she watches your stuff. You do watch Eric's stuff, right, Kari? Yeah. I believe I actually like sent you like a couple links to his stuff and then you kind of got into I'm, it. So, yeah, that's... I yep. saw some of Ace's stuff before, but then I lost the channel when I moved. So... Just went like that. Do you still like my stuff, or...? <laughs> yeah. It's quite funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, going back to the Bieber stuff, have you heard that apparently we in the UK are never getting him again? Because he really? got so... Yeah, he got so pissed off with the cameraman because he just was a little diva, pushed the cameraman, and the cameraman just yelled... Back to America. Yeah, told him to fuck off back to America. <laughs> <laughs> hey! And he just started a little diva tantrum. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm the never coming back the here again. Is right. I would have told the little fucker the same thing. <laughs> even, though he, even though he's not from America, he's from Canada. Oh, he's Canadian? Yes. We don't... We don't care. We don't yeah. care. It's in that facility. And all of a sudden now, and all of a sudden now, I I just sort of wish that Bieber, you know, would be like Canada and just sort of vanish away while hugging his fucking polar bear. Well, hey, that's, don't compare Canada to him. At, at least he's not like freaking. Who are you? I'm Canada. <laughs> and I'm Prussia. Prussia is awesome. <laughs> and I, I actually have Prussian blood in me, so. What? No what, what the... are? You, what are you doing there, Eric? <laughs> oh. I'm organizing my shit here. <laughs> okay, you getting ready to fucking? You know, like, are you getting ready to fucking like 
feast on it there, Coco, or what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you were you showed that video earlier of the gorilla with its shit. I, I will feast on this Toblerone later on. Yippee. All right, so. Anyway, dude, yeah, we were just referencing, we were just making references to, you know, Hitalia. Oh, Hitalia. Yes. Fuck that stupid show. <laughs> wow. Okay. Fuck that stupid show, and I actually voice acted for a fan-made version of that show, which... And I believe that you showed a clip of that, didn't you, in one of your results videos? I did indeed, so... It's funny that I have a love-hate relationship with that show. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, you were voicing France, weren't you? I was voicing France, correct. Wait, what? I voiced <laughs> France. You somebody, voiced... Yeah, someone asked him to do, uh, like... A really perverted France, and I did a really perverted France. <laughs> yes, he did. Well, to be honest, it's France. He's a cheesy eating surrender monkey, and he and can't you... do jack shit. Yeah, and also, and also in the show, France is a massive pervert. Anyway, so it works you, to do a perverted France. Have you seen the episode when they're asking him what happened to his uniform, and then there's just the image of his flashbacks where um, they were constantly always aiming at him because they could spot him easily. I think so. I think I might have seen seen that one. Yeah. I think it was Italy that was going like, eh, I can't find France anymore. Where is he? I honestly am into the show those. I mean, you know, I however I, I can't I can't understand. I, I do understand where some people are not into are, are not into Italia, so there is that yeah. The fandom does have a habit of being insane. A little more than insane, I would put it, you know, like just downright kill those bitches. Well, I mean, well, I mean, it's just sort of you know like one thing when the fandom is just sort of being a little bit quirky, and that is sort of a thing when it comes to when it comes to Hitalia. It's just, it's just. I personally would want to avoid the ones who are talking about how they want to marry these countries or they want to oh. be in a big relationship with Spain and shit like that. Uh -huh. No. Yeah. No, nah, Russia is the more popular. I'm I just I just use you Spain just as a example. Yes. Plus I didn't know that Russia was that popular for that, but alright. Um it goes America, UK, Italy, Germany, then Russia. Okay. All right. Had no idea. Anyway, such a intricate, you know. Well, plan. well, see, dude. Then and plus, also the fandom have even created their own little. They it the fandom has created all. They have created all. They've created like alternative universes for these characters. Yeah, not... What is that noise? I'm sorry, that would be Grace's dog chorus singing in the morning, like they normally do, to wake up the howl household. It's because mum has moved. Ah, oh, she mum's moved, I see. That's yeah. what that is. Alright. Interesting. It's all the dogs singing. Hello, morning, my love. Okay. Sorry. Grace is in the bed with me and she's very tired. Sleep. She can't sleep. I'm in yeah, the her. I wouldn't be able to sleep with that noise either. So. <laughs> that noise and, I and there's <laughs> also, you know, the dogs too, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> okay, why don't we uh, reload the comments here. Oh, let's yeah. see. I haven't done that in a while. Let's see here. Pro Titus is in the is uh, right now watching us. What's up, dude? Uh, let's see here. What do you think of Lionel Messi? He's the best player in the world. Who? Exactly. He's he, he's a soccer player, a sport that you are not interested in. <laughs> yeah, a sport that barely qualifies as a sport and sucks and sucks major dick. <laughs> that is your opinion. I will yes, respect yes. it. 
you could well, hey, I mean, you know, the plus side is that if I was given the option of watching soccer over, say, NASCAR or golf, football, yeah, then I'd totally take soccer over NASCAR or yeah. golf football. or so. televised or fucking like televised poker or any of that other kind of horse shit. Hey, televised poker is awesome. Televised poker is not that. Are you really? Are you really saying that, dude? I'm really saying that. A bunch <laughs> of assholes just sort of sitting there, you know, with their chips, and they're just sitting there like clacking all of their chips. And yeah, that's a poker match. God, that's boring as shit to watch, though. And the commentators and game and the commentators are sitting there. And Moneymaker has a 7 6. Isn't that and just he folds. Well, no, no, it's just that. Y how the fuck do you call poker? Uh, well, any kind of like gambling or sports. Any I mean, sport. because I can totally understand, you know, like people, you know, calling things like football, baseball, soccer, basketball, hockey. All those are easy. American football and football. It's football. You no, Americans it's are soccer. so no no no. This is how oh. awkward you Americans are. You took the S O R out of association, which is what football stands for. Association football. You were so awkward that you took the S O R out of the freaking association and then put a, a C R. Yeah, I, I don't think you want to uh, argue with this yeah. man. He's uh, when he hates us. Oh. We us. took the what out of what? Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, my spelling is terrible. You took the Association. Out of the butt. Could you <laughs> translate that into actual English for me, please? Uh, <laughs> right. What you're saying is you should when play League of Legends again. <laughs> right. Everywhere else in the world, they refer to football as football. Americans refer to it as soccer. And because Americans were so awkward, they took the SOC out of Association Football. And put a C E R at the end of it. So you got soccer. Alright. <laughs> She's explaining That's how awkward you fucking are. She's explaining how the word soccer. how the word came to be. Okay. Well, we well, I mean, we also like to shorten words by taking out, you know, pointless like pointless U's. So color. Hey. No, it's you're, color. You're, you're it's just, so yeah, but we're so lazy, we also don't even spell Y-O-U out. We just use the letter U. Uh, no, I still totally spell U correctly. Most people who just use the, the letter U, they kind of irritate me. Oh, me too. Mm. Uh, you know, another pet peeve of mine is people who, who say, instead of, you know, he would have done this, and they put would of, writing instead O-F. Instead of fucking would have. -E. Yeah. I hate people who do that, and a lot of people do that. Would of instead of would have. I kind of do that. Don't do that. That's bad grammar, and you know it. Um, have you seen my writing? Yeah, dude, her writing is not pretty. Um, her spelling and sentence structure is not not good. <laughs> at least I can fucking know what I'm in. Yes, at least she is willing to fess up and go, yes, it's not good. It affects my speech as well, as you could just tell from earlier. <laughs> but anyway, going back to our comments here, uh, see, golf golf doesn't qualify as a sport. Yeah, it's just uh, old men with a stick, you know, smacking a ball, a little, little tiny ball around. Apparently my hair looks like Rouge from X-Men. From Rogue, yeah. It does look kind of like Rogue's hair. Yes. Kind of. I thought it was nice. white and brown. This is purple and black. Well, again, your you know webcam's not totally the best, so that little yeah, purple, so that little, so that little purple like emo like swoosh you got going it's, there's. It's faded. That's why. Yeah, it's faded and it looks kind of white from here, or like a purplish white. Uh, let's see here. They need Jim Ross to call poker. Oh, that'd be badass. Hell yeah. So I actually bad. think that would work if JR would start calling poker games. This this match between Phil Hellmuth and, and Mike Mattis, is a, it's a, got to be a slobber knocker. 
and the only poker player I know the name of is uh, Chris fucking, you know, Moneymaker, because his last name's Moneymaker. That just... Awesome. I mean, for a poker player, what better name could you have than Moneymaker? Yeah. At least I at, at least I think his first name's Chris, Chris isn't it? Chris Moneymaker, yes. I thought so. Let's see. Uh, da -dun, da -da -da -da. Let's see here. Somebody here is saying, dude, that you have a, you know, cool, you know, beard, unless they think this, the, these fucking, like, 12 fucking hairs I've grown here counts as a beard. <laughs> yeah, I, I think they, they might be talking about my beard. They might be. The hunch. What Just, a freaking uh, bad beard. Call it a guess. What do you guys think of Death Note? It's an awesome show. I would like to say I've never I've never seen the the show, but good for you. I have seen the two live action movies. I love those. I haven't seen those, and I imagine I would love them too. Uh, well, I, especially since yeah. I have because I have heard people talk about the series, and they and they and they have talked about the manga, and they always talk about how L was such an awesome character, and it kind of sucked when he died, and they brought in. Yeah, some other was, characters to fill him in. Yeah, and the character that, that they brought to fill him in completely did not make up for him. Well, the movies kind of make up make up for that by by basically ending everything with L still there. Oh. The whole story gets summed up and everything's finished out and well then the movies did a better job. <laughs> yeah. The movies are awesome. In fact, well, I actually had them like bootlegged. I actually I found like bootleg DVDs of it for the longest time, and when I and I finally got around to buying the it, I finally bought the Death Note collection on Blu-ray, so I'll finally get to see it with the English dub and see if the dub's any good. I've been, I've been sort of curious. I oh. I people yes. have tried to make me watch Death Note. I remember when it was still coming out. My friend Emily really liked it, yeah, and stopped she stopped watching it when Al died. But when I was watching it, I just went, I don't like it, it's retarded. And then I got skipped to a different episode much later on, and I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So, what? <laughs> that's that's okay. always a bad way. Hmm. Okay, we have here one that's... Uh, that's we, now, we have here something that's sort of interesting. Do you guys feel that animation gets little, gets little to no respect from America these days as opposed to places like... Japan. Um, yes, and the greatest example of that is the fact that just two days ago, Disney fired all their 2D animators. This is Are they, fucking serious. They Look closed down me. their 2D animated studios. Yeah, I didn't they, realize that they fired them. Yeah, they they fired they fired all but like two of their of their of their 2D animators. They could have just kept them on the storyboardists. Correct. They they, they could have made them, them storyboard artists, but no. Yeah. Let me find the article for that, but yeah, they, they fired, it was like two days ago, they fired their entire 2D animation, you know, people. Yeah. That is I know. People, yeah. people who have been, people. There, there, there were people in that group who have been with Disney since The Little Mermaid, and, and they were fired. Oh boy, that is, that's... wow. Yeah. I mean, nice. now, what I find really funny is this. Disney is Disney is just fucking, like, excising their entire 2D... Wait. Mm -hmm. Their entire 2D crew? Yep. Including the people who animate shit for television? Correct. They, they kept only, like, like, two major names. <laughs> because I thought that they were still working on shows like, uh, like Phineas and Ferb and shit yeah. like that. So are those... Now technically canceled. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's the same. I mean, they mind you, mind you. I think. I think it was like their movie department. Okay, it was. Okay, then it was their movie department that works. Um, but still, well, it's still it's still kind of a douche move. It's exactly like Cardi said. Why just fire them outright? Why Why not give them other jobs? You know? Yeah. Why not put them in as your storyboard artists or, you know. Get them all of the necessary training so that way they can be computer animators. You know, because yeah, this was just two days ago on the fifteenth. This is the thing, though. They keep on saying it's like, oh, three D animation is the way. It, most people prefer two D. I prefer two D animated I stuff. Rather, 
I prefer DreamWorks 3D animations than I do Pixar. Yeah. Fucking cool oh. bitches. And uh, while we're on the subject of Pixar, uh, this is sort of a lengthy thing, but uh, recently I bought the, uh, I think that's the 25th anniversary edition of Who Framed Roger Rabbit on Blu-ray. One of the trailers was for a Disney was for a Disney animated film, not not you know Pixar. I have to very clearly specify this is a Disney only thing and not Pixar, but it's a spin off of Cars. Hey Emma. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. What the hell? Here. Okay. Uh, so here you go. Read that article. Anyway, um, all right, I'll take a look at it. So anyway, what they are working on is they're working on a Disney animated. Or rather, Disney is putting out this like animated thing. It's a spinoff of Cars called Planes. planes? I saw yes, Planes. It's base. Well, okay, and it is set in the Cars universe, and it's about talking planes that are. What do you know? They're doing some kind of like a plane flight circuit of some sort. Okay, Disney just gutted their hand-drawn animation division. According to for, according to former Disney animator Tom Bain, Tom Bain, it's, ba it's ba Bancroft. Bancroft? Okay, it's Bancroft on Twitter. Disney gutted their hand-drawn animation division this weekend and laid off nine veteran animators, including some of the studio's biggest names. I'll just skip past the names there. Uh, two of the animators still have jobs: Eric Goldberg and Mark Hen. The news, the 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 news of cuts in their animation division was leaked last week, but I, for one, did not anticipate that all these top animators would be let go. Wow! I uh, see nine veteran animators. Were, uh, well, um, at least I'll have a lot of jobs in places like Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, animation yeah, studios like that. They can even start their own one. No, like like Don Bluth did. <laughs> Don Bluth was a Disney oh, yeah. before he. He began. was, and then Bluth was fired or or he, or he quit. I'm not he, totally he, sure what the story was. No, he he quit. He quit. He quit, and then he went on and formed his own studio and made some real classic movies. I'm talking which like is, Secret of Nim, Land because Before he, Time. He basically beat Disney at their own game, and then Disney decided to make movies more like you know Don Bluth's, and then they surpassed Don Bluth. It was weird. Yeah. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, the last film that Bluth put out wasn't it uh, Titan? Wasn't it Titan, Titan AE? AE? Yeah. yeah, that was the last one. Which really oh, Titan which, E, which happens to be, if I can grab it. I totally, totally wish that I had my collection like that close to me. <laughs> But no, no, to be honest, it was on top of the PlayStation, which is on top of the Xbox, which is next to the Nintendo 64. So. But no, I have my collection on the other end of the of, <laughs> of the fucking room, so the only way I can grab anything and show it on camera is if I stand up and walk over there and while... We'll... Yeah, and my collection is upstairs, so I mean, I actually have to literally get out of here, go upstairs, get, get into my collection, bring it back downstairs and show it to you, and that's too much effort for me. Well, yeah. the samples of my collection happen to be right next to me because this is my side of the room. <laughs> side of the room. So you live in what? Do you live in what? Like a dorm or? or I'm living in Grace's place because it's close to my college, and I get a free bus pass. So. Yeah, and I get to annoy her every day. So. This is the epitome of friendship. We've been doing this for about what? Three months now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three months. Hasn't killed you yet. She hasn't killed me in my sleep yet, which is a good thing. <laughs> but she's thought about it, so it's the thought that she's thought, she's thought about it, don't worry. I've been thinking about kicking her face in and then selling the rods in her back for scrap. <laughs> That's lovely. So, what are your thoughts on anime localization? When does it go too far? Uh, when they decide to do shit like flip it so the roads are on the right instead of the left. And giving them food. And giving them muffins instead of rice bowls. Well, see, now to me, now to me, like localization goes way too far when, similar to that instance, which I believe was, was from Pokemon, wasn't it? When they were like digitally swapping out like rice balls for other random food because it seemed 
and to, yep. because it would sell better. Jelly-filled I mean, donut. Yeah, well, such as jelly-filled donuts and all that other kind of stupid shit. That honestly is going a little bit far. One other thing that I always notice whenever it comes to like localizing shows that just irritates the shit out of me. And this and this is normally done by four kids. In fact, it was done a lot by four kids. Is when they would take signs which had you know like Japanese writing on it, and they would digitally erase it and put English text in there. Usually, very poorly put in English text, or they or or they just take off the text and have nothing on that sign at all. I, I love I love the the. In Dragon Ball, the frothy mugs of water. Oh yes, frothy mugs of water. When they have to digitally paint paint beer blue. <laughs> but frothy mugs of water. But I like I like how they leave the froth like how they <laughs> left the head on on on, on the fucking beer. Uh, what about how sometimes they rename some of the cast, but other cast members they don't. Uh, I honestly don't really have a huge huge problem with that. Yeah, I do have a problem when 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 they reanimate an underwear to look like a dollar bill. What? In Dragon Ball, the the original Dragon Ball. There's a scene where where um, to when fish, when to fish oh, Oolong, yeah. they they toss a pair of underwear on like on a on a fishing rod to fish him out of out of the sea, and in the American version, that underwear was actually like a dollar bill. And I'm like, what? Okay, now to me, guys, like, now to me, localization is always a big issue to me when they are changing the 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 actual show itself, such as you know, altering underwear into a fucking dollar bill, or digitally painting out signs, or yeah, that's, that's just like taking it too far. If you, I mean, because I have I have very 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 little issue with changing up fucking like character names and all that because frankly because frankly sometimes you want a name that's a bit more pronounceable by you know U.S. viewers or British viewers or what have yeah, you. Yeah, I. I can understand that. It's the sense of when they change half of the characters' names, but they don't change the other half. That's when I get annoyed. Well, I guess that. Well, well, I guess that. Like with with some of those cases, it's basically that there. And this is going to sound horribly, horribly offensive, but just play along. When aren't you offensive? Good point. But they see. But but they usually do that when they're trying to take out the names that sound a little bit too, you know, ethnic, let's say, and they're putting in more Anglo fucking Saxon, you know, like white names to put in to put to put in their place. Oh, and, you mean Norfolk? <laughs> Norfolk yeah, names. Yeah. <laughs> you basically just need to put in I mean it's it basically is just just their way of trying to cater to the audience which they're trying to cater to, which is often children. So I totally understand it sounds fucking stupid as shit, but that's just sort of how I see it. Also the thinking that any animation must be for kids. Well that, that honestly, there are lots of ones that they've dubbed which well, are for adults. Well you see now that actually is not a problem with actually like localizing anime and that is just more problem with animation in general. Is that people do happen to think that animation is for kids and then you then you show them stuff that is clearly not not for children and usually it shuts and usually it sort of shuts those people up real quick. And then there's and then there's the opposite of it. Which are people who believe that certain, you know, shows and this is especially big with, you know, anime and they happen to think that it's a much darker show, so it has to be for for adults, but it was actually made made for kids. A big example of that is stuff like One Piece, Naruto, these are children's shows over over in Japan. And we have people over here in their fucking like twenties and thirties and they're talking about how it is the most fucking like edgy and you know this that and no no you you basically are you know rooting on for what is essentially the Japanese equivalent of something like well I mentioned them earlier uh, Phineas and Ferb you basically are talking about the Japanese equivalent of Phineas and Ferb something that's more for kids than than, than it is for for adults and the only reason why it's seen more as in and the reason why it's seen more as you know like adult fare here is because it's a little bit more it's just a little bit more mature than most of the shit we dump out for kids today. That's yeah. And speaking of narrative, also I could 
think of instantly as soon as you say that was how they censored all the fucking blood out. That's particularly when Naruto stabbed his hand. But that was the first episode I saw of the dub was when they made it a flash of white from when they were telling him that you've been poisoned to his hand being bandaged. It's like you've just cut a good two minutes of the now, most amount of gore you see in the whole show. Now, someone just asked in the comments if I like Top Gun. Well, yeah. I could have sworn that everybody liked fucking Top you know, Gun. I always thought that was like a movie that everybody really was able to get into. What about, you know, like you guys? Are you into Top Gun at all, or? No. All right. Like Top Gun, Never the heard of it. thing, yeah. Speaking of guns, though, I actually watched Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Oh. Recently. And how is it? Right, I'm going to say what my boyfriend explained it to me as. Basically, think of Snatch, only it's been heavily influenced by cocaine. It's not on it, but it's pretty much <laughs> close to it. The after effects of snorting a fucking like bucket of fucking yes. coke and watching Snatch. <laughs> Both movies were made by the same guy, so there you have it. Yeah. That's why they're so similar. Feeling okay there, dude? You seem a little down. No, I'm just falling asleep, man. Ah, gotcha. Well, then again, that's because it is like 3 a.m. Well, we've, we've, we have we've we been at about, this for... It's about 8 past 9 over here. <laughs> and we have been at this for the last like three hours or so, so... Yeah. yeah. I'm just, I why actually do you guys was... always do this on a freaking college night? <laughs> because though, because those are the nights that I have off. That's really the best I've got. <laughs> I hate you. What? Oh, and okay. and I also and I also don't like doing these on like Mondays and Thursdays because I've already got my my videos being uploaded on Monday or Thursday. So there we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, we might as well just take you know like a couple more. You know, like we we might as well take like a couple more comments here, and then we can probably. And then. <laughs> if you dude are seriously like dr dropping yeah, off there, why don't you just go and chew on another one of those fucking ice cubes? <laughs> and I don't think even one of those is gonna wake me up anywhere. But by the way, oh, really, dude? Yeah. I still endorse these. Yeah. What? Here's a here's a question for you. Why is it that if you generally do make ice cubes and put them on your eyes, you feel really tired. What? Huh? Yeah, I, you, I, I didn't catch the question either. <laughs> if you have ice cubes and then you put them on your eyes, you actually start drifting to sleep. I've never oh. tried that. Really? It's one of those weird things that my nan used to do. If you go and you make off. ice cubes in the freezer, you put them on your eyes, it puts you to sleep? Yeah, after a while. My nan used to do it. All of a sudden, I kind of sort of want to try that now. <laughs> oh. You're going to have really wet <laughs> eyes. <laughs> wet I thought eyes. you were going to say, say he's going to have really wet dreams, but there you go. <laughs> wet dreams, huh? What are you thinking of? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my. Oh, my. Do we want a repeat of the Pokeboy stuff? <laughs> of the what? Of the Pal Pokeboy. comics? Oh Pokey no no dude, Pokey Boy. Pokey Boy is all well. Pokey Boy is basically like Pal Comics if Pal Comics were interactive and animated. I made you play it once. <laughs> she did long, 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 long ago. Long time ago. Okay. His yeah, his memory's probably a bit <laughs> gone would, at this point. That wouldn't give me wet dreams. That would make give me decidedly, you know. Horrific dream. And if it and and if it would give him and if it would give him a wet dream, it would probably then make him, you know, suicidal. Yeah, if I could. Oh my yeah. god. But yeah, Pal Comics, man. <laughs> that place. That's the repository of all humanity's ills. Is. Do you guys like Mister Mister Show? You guys like no, Mr. Show? I, I guess I do, the seeing as I referenced it in that? my last video. I referenced a Mr. Show thing in my last video, so yeah. What's Mr. Show? 
It's a really uh, it's basically if Monty Python was made by Americans and was different and wasn't and wasn't quite as funny. I mean, not mind you, know, like Mr. Fucking Show is okay, but but you're right. It is. It, it's basically sketch comedy that that where every so, sketch like bleeds into the next sketch. Yeah. So wait, in a way, it's basically the Americans' best attempt at replicating British comedy. Mm, no. Because Not quite. It's the most un-British thing ever. Okay, okay. Yeah. Essentially, the essentially. Reason I said Monty Python is because of the whole style where one sketch. Eventually... That's what I mean, though. I mean, like classic comedy style. Kind of. It it was trying to replicate the like Monty Python like layout. Let's say yeah, without layout. trying to replicate the humor because we'd never yeah, be able to match the humor. The humor was not you know anything comparable to. You know. Yeah, because that's our bridge. Like we've got a dark humor that Americans just don't seem to get most of the time. Well, I get well, I get most I get, of it. And frankly, I love Mitchell and Webb's show. So. And frankly, my all-time favorite British fucking comedy. Well, it's not really dark, but it really is something that a whole lot of Americans are just not into. And that is, are you being served? Which yeah, my my favorite is Black Adder. That's oh yeah, man! Like Black Adder's amazing. Yeah. Are you being served? In fact, I was actually talking with I was actually talking with Monty on Skype, and he was and he was surprised that I that I even knew about Are You Being Served? Because he's apparently like a massive fan. He had no idea. So yeah, I used to watch that on I, PB, I used to watch that on PBS. Dude. PBS on Saturday nights, man. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, exactly, dude. I used to love that shit, dude. Bro fist. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, bro yeah, fisted up, bro. <laughs> and then there's me that's just like, I don't know any of this. I grew up on Black Adam, Monty Python, and Red Dwarf. Well, to be fair, Red though, Dwarf, yeah. oh, yes, Red Dwarf's another classic. Red Dwarf actually was the show that they replaced Are You Being Served with. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. PBS. And Are You Being Served was a sitcom. I think it was from what, like the 60s or 70s? No, it was from the 70s. It, it, it was from the 70s. Yeah, it, it started was. off, though, it started off, though, in black and white for the first... Actually, I believe that was just for the pilot. Yeah. But um, that's sort of why I thought it was a little bit older. And uh, it was set in... A, it was set on a floor of a department store where men's wear and ladies' wear, they had to share a floor because they apparently were renovating the floor that ladies' like ladies wear was at. And it was really a funny show. I mean, I loved it. So. Yeah. Oh, by the way, have you guys ever heard of a cartoon called Super Ted? Super Ted? Know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In yes, fact, I'm not the only one that fucking knows about it. In fact, I used to have I used to have a bunch of episodes of Super Ted on Betamax when I was a kid. My sister bought the DVDs box set. I didn't know they had a DVD box set. They do. Sweet. <laughs> now you. How I'm about, gonna have to look into that now. How about Danger Mouse? Anybody here ever watch Danger Mouse? I also have the entire I series of Danger it. Mouse on DVD. I fucking love Fuck. it. Fuck yeah! Danger Mouse that? is the shit, man. I love Fuck. that show. How about Count Duckula? Count Duckula is a, is is also a really good show too, man. Fuck yeah! Man. I never watched either of them when I was a kid. I feel really left out. You never saw Danger Mouse, really? Or Count Duckula? Well, I sort of saw Danger Mouse, but I just instantly flick over to something else. Why? Blasphemy. Well, I didn't like it. <laughs> I you didn't like, like it. it. What didn't you like about it? You didn't like. I was a kid. Was. I just didn't like it. Well, In well, fact, what did I, you rather watch? Care Bears or? I. My Little Pony. pony. No, um, Jackie Chan. Oh Pony. yeah, yeah, yeah! Child of the nineties. You turned the channel from Danger Mouse to watch to Jackie that. Chan. God, awful Jackie I'm a child of the fucking nineties, okay? <laughs> that god awful Jackie Chan Adventures show with that I irritating like that was... niece of his. Oh god, with that irritating everything of that. Da, 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 da. 
Now, I actually have always said this. If they were ever going to like remake Danger Mouse, or if they're ever going to like relaunch it, and if they ever needed like a new voice cast, I would love to voice Greenback. I'd love to be the, oh, the voice yeah, of man. Baron Greenback. Oh, yeah, but man. then again, though, I mean, that actually is just because it's such an easy, easy voice to pull off because you just got to just, you know, like smoke out your voice a little. Yeah. You just have to get it down here and boom. Yeah. You have it layered. You have it nailed. Look at me. I've got it down. Holy shit. So amazing. Anyway. <laughs> Not bad, man. Not bad. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Fair enough. We're only going to have like half an hour of class. Can you pass me the phone? No, I completely disinterested her with, with yes. that. I can't use my mobile. I haven't got credit. Anyway. Um. So guys, anyway, we are. So you know, we actually guys are are going to close out this as Kari's talking to somebody off camera. Pass me the phone. You're closer. You're closer to the phone. Pass it. And have you guys heard of Chris Chen? Are you fucking kidding me? Of course I have. Jesus Christ. What do you mean? How everyone used to take the piss out of him for liking My Little Pony, and then they started liking My Little Pony and shit. Yeah, that's part of it. In fact, uh, Chris Chan was recently featured on a new show on MTV. Are you kidding me? Okay, um, are you familiar with this with this fucking with this fucking retarded show on MTV? It's called. Uh, it's called it's MTV, called the channel. Ridiculousness. Well, essentially, well, essentially now, okay, now, now, ridiculousness is this retarded show where it's just a couple of guys and they're just watching and riffing on you on fucking, like, YouTube videos. It basically is the same bullshit that you and I could do right here. Well, they have a similar show, uh, which fo- which just looks for which, which looks for, for more for, for more than just YouTube videos. And the show is called, like, Failocracy or something like that, or Failosophy. It's Failosophy. And they had, and, and, and they had their panel of uh, supposed fucking like comedians and they would show them like three different images of people and they'd say which one would you date which one would you marry and which one would you or it was like it was like which one would you marry which one would you move in move in with and which one would you would you call the cops on one of them was a picture of Chris Chan from uh, a couple of years ago um I'm not sure if you followed like Chris Chan's escapades thanks to the fucking like Chris Chan wiki that little like oh, wiki. Yeah. You mean the you mean the little cake thing? Um no. The one where, where he shoved cake up his ass? No. No, no, no. This was this here is when he decided that uh, he was going to be a tom girl. He was going to be a guy who dresses who dresses like a woman and all this other shit and he has his hair like done up and shit. Well, there's this one photo of him. And he is in his and he is in his sports bra and he is basically, you know, like sprawled out on his bed and he has the and, and he has and he, and he has that like PlayStation move gun in in his hand and he is trying to look sexy. They used they used that image. Apparently Chris Chan noticed it and then went on to Facebook and was complaining about it because that image got him, you know, like got him fucking like so much fucking grief and he has absolutely no fucking like respect anymore for M T V and so on and so forth. It was really fucking stupid. That really was the last bit of relevance with, with, with Chris Chan was he was featured on this show on fucking MTV that nobody fucking watches, but he but 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 he saw it to the point where he needed to respond to it, which was totally fucking stupid. So, I believe that that right there is a good way of uh, ending ending tonight's tonight's show. Um. Anyway, guys, we will hopefully be able to do this again. This that I mean that this year was a pretty fun fun show. We can hopefully uh, make certain that Eric's got enough fucking caffeine to keep himself going for, right. for more of the show. Uh, uh, here's, here's an image of Kari calling her calling in sick to her college. Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello, college. Hello, college. Yeah. I don't want to go to school today. Uh, I feel sick. I feel <laughs> I've come down with herpes. That new, that new AIDS version of her. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> what? You called, in, you called in sick. 
I just said that I got hit by the bus and that it hurt my arm. The game uh, down The bus it, hurt my arm, that's why I don't want to go to school. Nah, because if I go in now, I'm only going to have like half an hour of classes, so... Yeah, it's cool. Half an hour of education. Uh, I'm not sure if I actually did mute myself, but like, I didn't want to give like college information like, out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I want to play Sonic, you know, on 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 my games and stuff, and I'm sick. <laughs> no, I, I've got my PSP. I and came my down with DS. herpes. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. So anyway, guys, we and we we and we are going to end end this stream now on the highest of possible tastes. All right, guys. So. A dead baby in the blender. Yeah. Speaking of dead babies, though, did you actually hear about the guy that was doing illegal abortions? Uh -huh. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Before oh, we God damn it. <laughs> Explain. Right, <laughs> there's apparently a guy, I don't know where in America, but he was doing illegal Probably abortions. Probably in Boston. After, after the you know, the legal time limit of aborting a child. So they were having babies come out live and he was apparently telling What, and they found out that he was the owner of the coat hanger factory and that's why he was doing it? <laughs> Dude! No, he was... <laughs> you no, heartless best! He was telling his nurses that were they were all illegally, they shouldn't even have had a medical license. In fact, they all had illegal medical licenses. But whenever they had a live child being birthed, they would actually get scissors, cut the throat and spine until it was definitely dead. Oh, and they kept come the, on, that's just wrong. And they kept, they kept the feet for DNA purposes, apparently. Oh, fuck that. I thought we were trying that's to end this. I high. really, really thought we were going to end with something funny. No. Yeah, yeah that was it's dark. Partial birth abortions and foot amputation. You Yippee. said that sent it on a good note. Just the kind of thing that we want to end on. Such a happy yes. high note. Partial yeah. birth abortions and foot amputation. So, good night, everybody. Yeah, here, here we go. Uh, yeah. As you know, that this really tasteless moment was brought to you by ice cubes, by Wrigley's icebreakers. Wow. So, actually, no. It was brought by their competition. Stride, their ID gum. I'm, I'm sorry. I had to. Wow. So, if you want a good note, I've got two rare games. So, yeah. Majora's Mask is not rare. It is over here. Then okay. also Mario Party Three. Yeah, also not rare. <laughs> Fun, they, but not totally fun, rare. Not they rare. are rare over here in the UK. However, though, if you do, if you do want to talk about a rare game, hang on a moment. League of Legends. Now that's I rare. know. Because yeah. you have no, you have no earthly clue how fucking difficult it was to find a physical copy of this goddamn thing in the U.S. Oh, God. Which one's that? Fire Emblem Awakenings. Or yeah. Fire oh, Emblem Awakening. Seen... Finding a, damn copy of, finding a damn copy of that in a store is just so hard. Oh, yeah. I found three copies yeah. of that within a week. Yeah, All meanwhile, meanwhile my wife could... We almost did not get one on, on opening night. Yeah, and I had to buy mine like a week ago. Fantastic game, though. I'm so tired, I'm calling release day opening night. Also... <laughs> Also, um, if anybody wants to add me on the 3DS, play this, or Mario Kart 7, or any one of the other games I've got. Um, Who are more sexually frustrated, bronies or furries? Um, both. Bronies. Bronies. Both. Bronies, specifically, specifically because furries are actually getting action, which is Ruth. part of the furry fandom thing but, is dress up in fursuits not... and fuck each other. You know. Then also, well, there are many I think, different I'd say levels the of furries. are sexually frustrated because all they can do is rub up against each other. They actually have to take the fursuits off in order to have sex. Either that or uh, carve holes in their fursuits. Because everyone thinks they are furries, but technically, in a way, I'm a furry because the most furry or anthropomorphic I go is like paws and fluffy ears. So, but do you in that sense, like I am hairy, hairy, furry bodies and stuff. No, that's literally only a, like a subculture. 
within the subculture. Yeah, now, I believe, then, though, I do know somebody who is yeah, even far people, more. So you find people more attractive if they wear like little. No, no. The only reason that I know about this shit is because my friend Katie is a full-fledged furry. Full-fledged, so she'll go in the full yeah, fur suit and everything. I would like to say that. Um, yeah. I would like to say that there actually is one being I know of though who is even far more who is even far more sexually frustrated than either furries or bronies, and that'd be Matei, yeah. Mike, oh. fucking Matei, because when yeah. he sees because when he sees a man with bushy eye because when he sees a man with bushy with bushy eyebrows, his first thought is how hairy how hairy is his ass crack. So yeah. and the moment he sees Elmo, he cannot help but think of sexual thoughts. So yes, got to tell you. Come rag. <laughs> oh, that's mean. Someone's apparently just said, "What's with the fat woman on cam?" That's not a nice thing to say about Asa. What? The f <laughs> that is just mean, Kari. What the heck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and she chose me, the one that had the beard. She didn't care for you. <laughs> well, you know, dude, you know that actually went well will, because I think it's funnier when you're bearded because then that means that I guess I'm, I'm gonna be the bearded lady. I'm the bearded lady. What are well, you? I, I One do, of the freaks? I do have tits. Uh, so, I mean, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you don't want to end it now. I'm gonna make it. I am terribly no. sorry, guys. This happens every single thing, and you keep inviting me to do it. <laughs> Speaking of which, are you wearing any pants? Uh, I asked him that. I asked him that actually. when. Yeah, I asked him that be before we started, and I kind of hoped he'd go and like. Throw on, is, like I wasn't even wearing a shirt, and he and he made. Sh Sure to put on a shirt beat before we started, but pants was asking a bit much. <laughs> show you my my you know my weird camera. You know. Oh well. Oh, I speaking like of comfortable and comfortable to me means not having any pants on. Is commando? Yes. Well, I'm not commando, but I, I, what I, next? I, you gonna say it's comfortable to wear a phone? To to wear a phone? What? A thong. A thong. A thong. Let me see that. Oh god, that song was so horrible. Now speaking though, of flashing your baby, make your booty go better, better. Da 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 Dumps. She is the and the lyric is that she dumps like a truck. Dumps like a truck. truck. <laughs> and apparently, that's sexy. That she takes gargantuan shits. She dumps like a truck. <laughs> <laughs> she dumps like a truck. Truck. I love <laughs> Cleveland steamers on my face. 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 Ew. I think he actually is from Cleveland. On top of that, it? There you go. So he, he would know about the dumps on that truck. <laughs> God damn it, all Cisco! You used to be relevant they're, for about they're, ten they're minutes. Using the incorrect terminology, isn't it supposed to be like the? Oh, what what was the the what are the what do the bronies call it? What, oh God, what's the word they use for it? Oh, clopping. The, no, 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 no. There was a word for oh, the whole plot. Thing. Yeah, the plot. plot. Yeah. See, he, that's what I. He's really into his plot. He's really into his plot holes. <laughs> Ew. Now, earlier when Eric mentioned that he didn't want to flash his, you know, stuff on camera, I was informed by a friend of mine. I was informed by a friend of mine that that. Uh, that uh, apparently the that apparently the amazing atheist has a new you know sex tape exactly. out. You believe oh, it. He told it to me move. about it. It wasn't, it it wasn't it his banana. Move. His banana thing was not good enough, so he decided to go. He decided step. to dump hot oil on his or yeah, like hot oil on his dick and wince. And I, I'm starting to think that send it, it to he, Stephen. I don't I'm want to because I haven't seen it either. I'm starting to think he's leaking these on purpose now. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I have, I have, I, I do have that feeling. I think, I think he wants the world to know he has a microscopic dong. 
but yeah, um, David, David had called me on Skype and like the very first thing he said was, so have you seen the amazing atheists new, you know, sex tape? I said no, and he then decided, and he then, and he then decided to explain it to me in great detail about how he's dumping this hot oil on his dick. It wasn't like Andrew. Andrew just straight away linked it to me. I said, "Here, you need to watch this." And then I clicked on it, and I'm like, "I would like to say though." Uh, and Kari here is mentioning a friend of ours, Moose. I, I do have a story, and it, and it has to do with the first tape. I have never seen the first tape. However, I did find like a picture, which was just a series of screen caps from the from the first tape. And I was in a chat with a bunch of friends, and one of them is a one of his friend of ours, Moose. And I sent him, and I sent him the image, or, or correction, I sent him the link to the image. And I just said, "Dude, you seriously have to see this. Don't ask, just click on it." And he was just sort of talking while it while it was loading. And then he looked at the image and he gave out the loudest shriek I've ever heard a man give. And then shortly afterwards, there was a knock on his door. Apparently, his neighbors had called, had, had, had fucking called the cops and were afraid he was being murdered in there. Oh, wow. Oh, God. That, that had to be the worst thing. Like, they barge in and go, like, what kind of shit are you into, guys? <laughs> well, no, 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 no. You see now, because the because the cops had shown up like ten minutes later, so he had already had the image like off his window and everything. And he's like, the cops were just. I just saw the most scary thing on. <laughs> I saw a scary my movie. Friends, my friends <laughs> just <laughs> sent me horrible shit. I saw a man shove a banana up his ass. Oh, and one person's asking exactly how, exactly how, exactly how did we get from amputated babies? To Cisco. That's there you go. Oh god. Oh good god. Not the song so. We somehow we somehow went from this horribly dark, dark story about, you know, partial birth abortions and foot amputation to Cisco. How magic. <laughs> that's how we roll. It's like because, friendship. Not funny. <laughs> Okay, kind of funny. Let's just. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm thinking about the bad jokes today. We seriously, no, we seriously have been trying to end this stream for about the last twenty minutes now. So, guys, you won't let us. We are totally, totally done now, and this and this year was just an absolute blast. And we will hopefully be be able to do this again. So, guys, take care, and uh, I really do hope I'll be able to do another one of these in like a couple of weeks. I'm really hoping for it. So, yeah, yeah. It could probably be. I right, guess. So. Take care, guys. <laughs> See ya. See ya.